I think we're live. Hello. Welcome, Bro, it's, welcome it's back the return. to Little Guy. Return of Little Guy. <laughs> Let's go. It's baby time. What is this, Yam? This is Cavern of Dreams. The babyest game. Yam's dream is to play this little guy. Yam and I just spent 11 days together, which was wonderful. Except, there was no good way to set up playing Cavern of Dreams in our hotel room. Yeah, but that's okay. Because we have look at him. Look at him! Be careful, be sure not to bop him. I won't. Not this time. This is yes. the best part of the game. <laughs> Rolling this with is... your siblings. Yes. This is the little guy simulator. Alright. So yeah, I Discord. have... Uh, what's wrong with Discord? Uh, occasionally it will have some streaming issues to me. I'll deal with it and see if it goes away. Okay, if not, we can move to, like, gel things. Or Some other place, yeah. Yeah. As long as chat, you guys are seeing it okay. Yeah. What's the artist's name? The person who made this is By9. B-Y-9, but, like, spelled out. I think I think we should go to a new level instead of trying to 100% this well, one. Well, hang on. I have some great news. Oh, did I you find it? I happened to look at the uh, VOD for the old stream, and someone in chat today was like, Hey, I saw where the last card was. Here it is. Oh, that's a very Kirby 64 at hiding spot. So thank you very much to the person who commented that. I think their name was like Christian Knight or something. Thank you! Thanks. Look how happy Finn is! <laughs> Finn's... Finn's little smile really elevates his character design so significantly. Hello, Jello. I just got Dark Deity, and I'm enjoying both using Faust and Benji together to just one-shot my enemies. Non-ironically, Benji and Faust are, like, the two best characters in that game. I've never seen Faust die, and I have played real fast and loose with him. <laughs> and I've played that game... I've played that game, like, 16 times, actually! <laughs> It's a really good, uh, the key he's burned bright. It's a really good mindless game for me to play in the background. Will I be donating a thousand dollars this stream? I guess if this game scares me. I don't know, N64 games do tend to be scary. I'm more awake this time, so I can't actually read stuff. Okay. Hello, Finn. My, you're looking more experienced every time I see you. How wonderful. Trying not to make this just Naven. Remember, your new hoer not only lets you break through cracked floors, it ignores wind and lets you bounce high. Yeah, I don't know where you're supposed to go for the next one. Fish! Can you, oh, yeah, there, you can yeah, oh, okay. go to the other side of the waterfall. Okay. This is different. Yeah, I did that before. Uh -oh. They added fish. There were no fish here last time. Oh. I think you gotta dive in from the tall points. Meow. Whoa! The store was sealed with the mysterious dark energy and take a strong heart. I am Yo. strong. Finn is being so brave. I am so brave. This is that bat. This was you. Oh, look who it is. The hero. Would you like to parade in your honor? You miserable little puke. Whoa, whoa. Don't call him that. I am Luna, genius artist, and I am sick and tired of you messing with my artwork. Hang on. You're a dragon, aren't you? So those eggs must be your family. Is she painting the eggs like Easter eggs and that's why they're all different looking? Oh, maybe. Well, good for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I making things too hard for you? 
We'll deal with it! <laughs> this jerk has big mustache girl hat and time energy. <gasps> I bet you could break that. Wow! Yo! The, the secret. The secret. I was gonna say, try breaking that too. Maybe you just break it open. Hollow Lake or whatever it's called. <laughs> Piastle energy from that bat. That's just because Yam's doing a similar voice. There's a ground pound spot right back where you jumped up. If you horn dive onto a bouncy object, you'll get a little more air time. Okay. Whoa! Mushroom. Mushroom. It's so nice to be... Man, I was like as tired as I've been in months the last time you were playing this. Tell Aloha, he made another great thumbnail. No! I'm sorry! I messed up! I'll make it this time. Do you think Luna was a little put off that that's what knocked you out there? Like, she did, took all this time making these little flying guys, and then you just fall off a cliff, and she's like, oh! <laughs> Maybe. I spent most of the last two days on and off watching a five hour long video about the history of trying to beat as much of Mario 64 as possible uh -huh. without using the A button. Oh. <laughs> and it's it's very interesting. So I'm I've been looking at N64 era graphics for a long time now. <gasps> Secret. I actually love the design of those rays or whatever they are. Yeah, they're cute. Do I ever watch speedrun breakdowns? Um, sometimes. It's time to talk about parallel universes. That is the subject. Uh, the parallel universes was a single small chunk of that that documentary. It was pretty wild. Was it by the same? Uh, was it by the same person? No. Um, it was about the same person. He was basically the main character. Um. Uh. I'm pretty sure, but like, they did mention, he still works on that subject matter, but like, they mentioned that he had a, when he made that video, it was like at a really bad point in his life, and oh. he was very, like, it went viral, but like, he was pretty exhausted, he was like, this is an, <gasps> oh, this is an untenable amount of effort for one video, which makes sense because it's yeah. like an insanely well edited video. Yeah. And he was like, I can't really do this anymore. Um, so it was like, it was a little sad in that regard. Yeah. Completely understandable. Still a national treasure. Just donate anytime Yam says aw, I'll go broke. <laughs> I bet you can ground pound uh, that tall guy, and it will change which one is the tall guy. Oh, oh tall gu wait. Tall guys sequel to Fall Guys. Oh, I see. Careful. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, okay. There's no coming back if you get hit by that guy. I wonder if I can hurt them. Finn would never hurt anybody. That's true. Hmm. That does look a little too fast to ground pound. Maybe you gotta stand on the edge. I think you can just normal jump to it. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Okay, and they're pointed to the next one. I get it. That hit me! Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
I don't I don't think you need to do all of them. I think it's just a platform to help you get those mushrooms. The secret. Okay, maybe you're right. Just stay on the far point of the edge, you'll be okay. My goodness. You're making this so much scarier than it has to be. Shot. Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Pow. Here's a here's a question for chat to ponder that's dragon themed while we play this. Um, I think you'd agree with me on this, Yam. Oh, this looks like a path to a new a, a new level. Yeah, so, uh, okay, can you climb that pole? I think that just leads back up. So that's how you yeah. get back up. Yeah, that makes sense. So in in the Pokemon games, Dragon Tra Ooh. Oh, you okay, you have to raise oh, the I see. corresponding guy. I see. That's, that's fun. Yeah, that's clever. Okay, so it's the furthest one. So, um, in the Pokemon games, Dragon Trainers are very rare, but they have this look where it's like 30% old timey circus animal trainer, 70% edgelord superhero. Like it's mostly just having a cape tends to make you a dragon trainer. And I I think that sucks. Yes. So I'd like to I'd like to ask the question, what would be a cool new aesthetic for dragon tamers in the Pokemon series? Especially now that Fairy exists, and hypothetically, you could encounter Dragon Trainers way earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good job. DJ Dragon Tamer? I mean, that sounds really cool. That sounds more like a gym leader to me. That's too specific. Also, that's very electric-based. Armor? Okay. Yeah. Dragon fursuit? Honestly, I'd kind of prefer that. <laughs> I think having more of a, a knight theme would make sense. That might overlap with steel, but like... Eh. Yeah, a little bit. You know what they could be? Just like Renfair guys. <laughs> <laughs> we know po Pokemon had like a silly medieval era, because Pokemon Conquest exists. That's true. Would a more mage-like outfit work? I wouldn't mind that either. I feel like I feel like you could. Whoa! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm so sorry. I feel like you could do, like, just. It would need like a title like Ren Fair Goer, and like maybe the maybe the guys are mages and the girls are knights or something. Thank you. And those would be your dragon guys. go in uh, two directions. Feedy furry pajamas on the low end and the I was cool in college denim over flannel look. <laughs> that that strikes me as kind of like flannel says woodland to me. It's it's so like lumber. Ooh, look at this. Magical cowboy look. Cowboy I do like that. I think cowboy is ground. But like if they just decided cowboy equals dragon, I would accept that. I would prefer that. I think that would be neat. Hear me out. Preschool tra tra uh, trainers are all dragon trainers. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Saw your video about this, and it made me want to grab this. I ended up getting everything in it. Thanks for showing it off. Heck yeah, that's Hell the point. Yeah. I this game seems great. It's very I, cute. I really love it. It controls really well. 
It's very cute, so I love to play it. And I think it looks really, really good. It looks great. Here's an idea. Just make dragon trainers yam. I love the idea that there's only one dragon trainer and you fight her 30 times. It's me. I'm back. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> dragon tamer Amy would like to battle again. <laughs> While swimming, build up speed by swimming down. Then use the momentum to launch yourself upward. Hold the roll button to avoid paddling when you touch the water surface. Okay. I got another dragon! Look at this one! Oh. Oh. Whirlpool! Who's the little guy? This is the little, this is Finn. Finn's the little guy. Oh, what's that? Can you ground pound it? No, you gotta swim up. Oh. Gotta swim up into it. This game is doing a really good job making the location and method for getting each dragon egg very different. Has twinkling stars in its eyes. Is it, it is like a an creature. amethyst? An amethyst snail? Oh! Creature. It's a crab. Okay. Workout guy, because wrestling dragon types gets you the most jacked. I feel like any any working out or like fighting thing is just that's just fighting, right? Like have you watched any of Monkey Wrench? No, I don't know what that is. Yeah, this game's great. I love I, it. This might be my favorite room so far. I adore this. This creature is up to mischief. Finn would never be up to mischief. Finn is a good boy and he tries his best to be very brave. That's true. Oh, here, go down exactly where you are and uh, turn. Oh, that's a sage block. I thought it might be an entrance. Oh, there's a thing, though. Yeah, that, that turned on the whirlpool. Oh. I feel like you might have to find a way to the second floor or something and jump from there. Dragon Tamer, but it's Benji. I tried to give Soth a bad knife so he could chip enemies. Turns out bad lad is just too good. Oh, bad lard. Okay, wait, hold on. Night-themed biker gangs for dragon Pokemon trainers. That sounds cool. Like, their bikes are all... They've got, like, horns on the front. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, almost. Oh, I think you got a... That... That uh, tall iceberg floating around has a ramp. I think you're gonna land on that and then walk up the rest of the way and then. I jump just think I need it. the. I think I just need the momentum from from diving because they told me I could build momentum like this. Oh my gosh, you move so fast. I know. You were if 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 you happened to hit the peak of momentum there. You were tall enough to get on top of the iceberg, but not the middle platform. And it is sloped directly up, so I think it is supposed to be the middle platform. You gotta come at it from the other side, though. I'm trying. I know. Difficult. Do you get do you get more air if you yeah jump from a higher spot? Mm, maybe a little. Oh, you can pop up to the side there too. On the outer rim. Yeah. Finn did mischief once and felt very bad. Dragon Tamer should rock the crocodile hunter look. Yeah. I I feel like Pokemon Rangers are close to what I imagine a Dragon Tamer looking like. Whoa! 
Yam, do you have a favorite <laughs> dragon type Pokemon? Hi, dragon. I think they mean which dragon type is your favorite. What? Which dragon type Pokemon is your favorite? Hi, dragon. Oh, I thought you said a dragon. I was like, okay. Hi, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, they go at different speeds. Yeah. I did not know that. You can just jump over to those other higher platforms on the rim and then jump onto the guy from there. Yeah, that's definitely what you're supposed to do. Oh, okay. Not, that's not what I meant, but that was close. Yeah, those guys up there. See where there's that, like... Mm -hmm. Sneaky. Yeah, you, you want to be on that guy? No way. I don't understand why you keep taking shortcuts when the obvious answer is right there. Be, be nice. I'm the little guy. I'm I'm trying to help the little guy. Uh, He's not listening. I'm the little guy. He wants to splish splash in the water. Ugh. Ah. Bax Caliber is the worst dragon type Pokemon. It's true. Game. That thing fucking sucks. Delete What's it from the game. What's Bax Caliber? Google it. It looks ugly. Is it that stupid blimp that looks like it's made of ice? No. Uh, Bax Caliber. Oh, this thing. Yeah, this is basically just what if that uh, metal tower dragon type Pokemon from the previous gen looked worse? What's my favorite dragon type? Probably Mega Altaria. Are you I like Flygon chat? a lot too. I used to be more of a Flygon guy, but the last time I used both a Flygon and an Altaria, man, the Flygon was just so much worse. Flygon deserves to be better. It does. And you might need to roll for the extra momentum. I don't remember how movement in this game works. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't need to. I'm just gonna wait for it to come back around. I also really like Noivern. Noivern's great. And Dracopult. And Komoo. Yeah, those are all good. And Dragalgy! I love Dragalgy. Dragalgy is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Dragalgy. What's this do? Drains the water, probably. Shh. Or ups the water. <gasps> Grow mushrooms. Grow mush. Oh. Okay. You go inside. I That's a go... level, baby. <gasps> I may go in. Was this like a iced? <gasps> oh, yeah. Ice. You're in a snow globe. Wow. Favorite legendary dragon? None of them. There's no good legendary Pokemon. That's not true. Deoxys. Is there a specific dragon you'd like to see in Pokemon? Like a Lindworm or a Wyvern, etc. Oh. Um... I don't think I have any. You know, you know what would have been cool if that mimic in the latest games evolved into a dragon on a pile of gold. But like the pile of gold was the sentient part, and the dragon was like a Wobbuffet tail extension for defense. <laughs> cool. That certainly would have been better than just a guy who is gold. <laughs> Scary. But I can get. It really looks like you can ground pound it. There we go. Scary. Oh. <gasps> Scary. Oh, these are some these are some Kirby looking guys. The ground is also very Kirby 64. Can you guys tell I like Kirby 64? Whoa! You totally grabbed Yay. that. 
strange egg isn't yours. Let's return it to its parents. Oh, it's What's a... in there? It's like a white-eyed tadpole. Yeah. I hate Gimme Ghoul's evolution. It's just a string cheese surfer mascot. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, did is it is it in your inventory? I like looked away for two seconds. I think so, yeah. I'm gonna guess you have it. A key. -he. Oh, that's a key. -he. They like being chilled if they get too hot. Maybe you get nice breath power. Maybe. Kirby 64 is my Kirby game. I love it so much. It's the best one. The power combo ability is the most fun thing Kirby ever did. So no, it was you, right, who did fan art of like, what if there was a flower type element ability you could fuse with the others? Because I remember someone I am mutuals with doing that, and I was like, that's such a me thing. That's something I'd absolutely spend an afternoon thinking about. Oh, scary. Yeah, all right, that was so enough. Also, if you guys like cute, wholesome art, you should follow Sono, who's in the in the chat. <clears throat> Sono does a lot of video game comics, like a lot of them. And Sono also worked on Epithet Erase. One shall not climb the palm trees. It is unbefitting of a winged one. I'm going to do it. Bro, you are being unbefitting right now. I'm being unbefitting. But my siblings gotta eat. That's true. I really like the feeding mushrooms gimmick. It's a great way to... Yeah. Invo like, make the collectibles feel good. Egg. Oh, that's another one. That's not mine. I'm coming up on 2,000 <laughs> comics done soon. That's crazy. Oh shit, Jello is playing Spyro. Yam is playing. I'm just watching. Do you think that frozen thing down there is the parent? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, big. Oh, the oh. snowflakes are frozen in midair. I'm scared. It's scary in here. I don't like it when Finn is scared. Me neither. Oh. chill when you touch this box, but it looks like it's empty. Hmm. Hmm. I bet you need to get all the eggs to their parent before you can do something in this room. Maybe. Mush. Mush. There's a door down there. Hmm. I can go down. Slippery. I hope Game Freak makes an alternative way to transfer Pokemon out of the 3DS games once Bank inevitably shuts down, even though they won't. The phrase, I hope Game Freak, is never followed by something Game Freak will do. <laughs> is it a mermaid? Angry, Angry popsicle. popsicle! Yo, I'm changing my Discord name. <laughs> <laughs> this one can be you, I think. 
No, oh, I see how it is. You think I'm dumb, hmm? Think I can't count because I don't have fingers? Well, I had three beautiful eggs! And if you lost one of them, I'm gonna break out of here and do something we'll both regret! Okay, okay, I'll get, I'll get the other one. Be nice to Finn. Be nice to him. Server nickname, Angry Popsicle. Add your pronouns, he, him. Mm, I can't open this. Miss <laughs> Ma'am, you are angry. I don't know, but there's a mushroom there. <gasps> Happy stars! Oh, whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, you kind of just clip up there. Okay. Happy stars! Happy stars! Oh, and there's jester shoes. <gasps> jester shoes? There are jester shoes! You should go inside the house before you get the jester shoes. Oh, never mind. It's gated off. <laughs> Is there a, a card hidden in that crack on the far side of the, uh, that little castle back there? Maybe. Just behind it on the ground. That feels like a place there might be a card. Yeah. Ground level. Oh. Yep. You're yep. So, you're so heckin' smart. Aww. Oh. If you have any progress on Epithet Book 3, how's it going? No pressure. Uh, I, I'm i going back and novelizing the first season first. I have finally opened the document and started that. Um, I find that after I read books, oh, hello, I'm way more in the mood to write. Because, like, one of my favorite things about reading a book is how for like two hours after you read a book for a long time. I, I think this is pretty universal. Um, I start like narrating my own actions in the voice of the author's prose. <laughs> oh. 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 I love these jester boots, by the way. This is such a fun power up. Yeah. Egg. That one's actually mine. Anything else you can get while up here? No, it doesn't look like it. I love the happy stars. Yeah, they're very cute. Happy stars. Egg. Egg. Can you interact with this snowman? You found enough of your siblings to unlock a new ability. Come back to me when you're able, child. Hello. This snow creature was made with care. You feel soothed by its presence. You can do it. You can save your siblings. Hell yeah. That's right. Hey, Jello. I'm writing a book right now and want to be a screenwriter one day. Do you have any writing advice or things writing uh, uh, aspiring writers should know? Um. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Jester Boots. Goodbye, Jester Boots. Alright, see ya. Hmm. A lot of advice, I'm sure, but most of it I'd have to, like, be reacting to something to remember. Uh... I... For me, it's helpful to write out loud for dialogue. Because that makes it feel more naturalistic. But I doubt that's a universal thing. Do research. Yeah, definitely research stuff. Especially if you're writing in like, well, I guess any research. Like if uh, if you're doing a specific genre, look at other parts or or other examples of that genre. Yeah, a lot of, of... Uh, a big mistake a lot of young or like inexperienced writers fall into is that they look at a genre, think it's like aesthetically cool or whatever, and just be like, I can 
innovate, and then they just do the same thing that people have been doing for, like, forever. Yeah. Um, and when you're studying up, like, be critically thinking about things you like. Like, like why do I like this aspect of this thing? Or, like, I don't like that all of these, like, if you're writing a horror or a western or something, it's like, I don't like that all of these seem to do this. Like, you could write a thing in this genre that doesn't do X thing. Found. And that could be one of your goals. Hello. Oh, be careful. Oh, okay. I see what I need to do. Um, oh, here's, this one's actually important. Um, at all times, everything your characters do doesn't need to make sense to the audience, but it does need to make sense to the character. So, like, really try and put yourself in any character's shoes at any given moment and be like, like, forget what where you want the scene to go and just say, how would this character react to this? And if you keep doing that, Oftentimes your characters will lead you in really interesting directions and it will make a better and more realistic story. Like one of my one of the best chain of things that happened in Prison of Plastic was the Prison of Plastic spoilers. Um here, yeah, let me finish this thought before we do this cutscene. Okay. Oh, she she going. Okay. Um at one point near it's in chapter seven because what isn't in chapter seven the um when rick gets hit by accident by one of lorelei's spells that just happened because i went oh yeah rick is in molly's hair and i forgot to take him out so my first thought was i need to find a way to get rid of rick and then oh he's sleeping i need to find a way to get rid of rick in the previous scene and then for a lark i was like actually what would happen if i just kept him here well, he would definitely jump out and try and defend Molly, because that's what he does. Um, and he'd partially do it because he wants them, he wants Molly to like him and be his friend, because that's his M.O. But he's also a good person. Uh, and that would be lethal to him. And then Molly could save him, and Lori could save him. And I was like, oh, but given Lorelai's temperament and psychology, seeing someone almost die because of a magic spell she cast... That would fuck her up for the rest of the day, bare minimum. Yeah, I like that. And then the entire back half of the book changed. So, uh, let let your characters write themselves is advice that I would give. I think it often leads to more interesting and naturalistic storytelling. Okay, I'm done. Thank you for waiting. He fell asleep while you were telling a story. He just pat, like pat, me pat, for pat, real. Pat. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I found the other one. Well, I'll be. You brought them all back! Um, so you, uh, you ain't the one who stole them, are ya? Looking back, I suppose it was pretty obvious. Oh, she crying. <gasps> He doesn't feel good to stretch my tail. Shucks, you did me an awful big favor, and here I was giving you a bunch of lip. Sorry about that. Here, this is the least I can do. Cold, cold, go away. Bother us another day. Cold, cold, go away. Bother us another day. Is she... Yeah. Is her head a sideways octopus? I don't know. Wow, that's a... No, that, that, that. That's a lot nicer looking, ain't it, kiddos? Can you go around to her backside? Yeah, she's an octopus. Oh, cool. It's a very cute design, considering how, like, terrifying it is. <laughs> if you're looking for your siblings, I'd check inside the palace. I reckon it's been a while since I felt any life coming from that darn place. Ooh. Just watch out for the sentries. Try to avoid where they're looking, or you'll get turned into a crispy critter. I reckon there's a switch to turn them off somewhere. You could also try going, um, back to that frozen room, because I bet it's unfrozen now. Yeah. You can also go in there. Ooh! Oh, were those the sentries? I don't know. I imagine the sentries are inside. That more look, look that looks more like a puzzle to me. 
Maybe. Those are the same, because those are the same things that were in that church. Oh, yeah. the plan, Stan. Hmm. Whoa! That's ah, almost that... enough momentum. That's tough. What was solidly planned out from the beginning of Prison of Plastic. I wanted a scene this like this had no greater purpose in like the story at large. I just really wanted to do a scene where Naven was mean to Lorelei, because I thought it'd be funny. Um I I knew the ending and what happens with Molly. I, I wanted that to happen. Uh, originally it was going to be Candy Pirate themed, but there were like a lot of questions about how people would travel over oceans and I didn't want to bother. Um, so it got switched, it got switched to witch theme because I was talking with Oz and he suggested like kind of a borrower's tiny running around a witch's house thing, which I thought was a funny way to half disable Trixie and Finica. You could probably smash that guy in the ray with the cracks. Going in. Oh. Oh, this this goes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Mashoosh. Mashoosh. What was it like voicing the TV man in that new Watt file? Oh, did that come out already? What books or movies have you been reading or watching lately? Um, I watched... I watched two Abominable Snowman-themed movies on the airplane. Uh, started finally reading some Terry Pratchett books, and Yam was reading The Last Unicorn to me, which was really... Oh, it like glows. Which, yay! Which was really, really lovely. That was fun. Jello, you and your friends inspire me. You make me want to be a voice actor and make video games. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Aw, that's very sweet. To pay proper tribute oh, to- Okay, it doesn't matter. To the seeing stars, one must create an image that depicts them. To, to draw- Does that mean there's five of them? To make a star? Maybe. Some farty music. Which Terry Pratchett books? I ordered. When I moved, Aram recommended Guards, Guards, and we listened to like 80% of it in the audiobook, but didn't finish. Nice. Egg? Nope, it's a new area. That looks dangerous. It looks, it looks scary. I bet Finn's gonna be scared if you walk in. Um, and I ordered those from. No, he's okay. I ordered those from Barnes and Noble and paid like 25 extra dollars to ship them to me before the trip. And then they didn't get there in time. I'm very mad at Barnes and Noble. Um, and then Lenti picked them up for me before Lenti went on a trip to the Bahamas. So I still don't have those books. Lenti went so, to the Bahamas? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I ended up at a bookstore buying equal rights and, um, the Weird Sisters, and I read Equal Rights. 
Oh! What? Oh, those are the sentries! Oh, okay, you gotta turn them off. I guess so. Oh, is the turn off button in there? You oh. might have been able to. Oh, hello. You might have been able to go left or right in there towards the walls. You should check before you leave. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess there's some spots you can stand. Maybe on the back. Okay. Yeah, I thought maybe behind the pole the sentry's on, but... Doesn't really look like it. No. Sorry, I just I just didn't want you to burn time if the answer to a puzzle was in here before leaving. All right. Well, if we find switches. Equal rights is really good. Yeah. It got a little woogity woo at the end. I, I admittedly, uh, I don't tend to do well with, like, very high-minded, ethereal, dream-like fantasy. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <gasps> a boy. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Hello. This is a bigger level than I thought it was. Oh, oh no. His tentacles are stuck to the ground. I, I think it's doing that on purpose, Finn. No. Oh! oh! <laughs> oh, do you think this is a puzzle where each of the tentacles ups different ones? And no? Okay. Maybe not. Yeah, I think it might be one of those puzzles where each one ups and downs a different set of tentacles, and you I gotta... Get I get it. You see some of the tentacles. <laughs> yeah. I like... I like Terry Pratchett's... Uh, it's Jello's face, that's you. That's funny. <laughs> Music reminds me of something. Got it. Nice. Oh, off we go. Oh, okay, bye. Goodbye. Stop. Oh, no. That's not fair. Star. Oh. Whoa, oh, oh. <gasps> egg. Egg. It's a SpongeBob looking egg. SpongeBob egg. Sky. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Yay. Egg. Egg obtained. Okay. Egg. Egg get. There's also one over here. How get? Maybe you gotta go in from above. What does it say if you talk to it? It says that there's probably a switch. Oh, uh, okay. And that's where I just went up. I like this this level started as like ice themed and now it's like water and stars. Yeah. Any tips for doing more light voices? Not sure how to phrase it. I don't know necessarily what you mean by light voices. Do I like the Monster Hunter games? Um no. I don't dislike them, I have no opinion on them. They seem like too much effort for a single run for me. Oh. Mashoosh. Right there, a mashoosh. Oh, mashoosh. Na, 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 na. Oh, what is that? It's definitely a Topo theme. Boo, 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 do, 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 do. Maybe 
maybe they mean something like Naven or TV Man when talking about light voices. The Tori's theme. You might be right. Let me listen to like, Mutori's theme for a second. Candid friend. Which one is this? Kapapa kapapa ni tori. Kapapa kapapa ni tori. Ba ba da 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 ni tori. Maybe ba da 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 da. Yeah, there's some similarities there. Maybe that's it. Like with wispy or higher pitch voices. Got it. Um, nice. I don't. Oh, like his ruby rose. Um, let's see what's in here. <laughs> They've been rolled <gasps> centuries. Whoa. Scary. Oh, you can. There's a. There's things you can read. So maybe they'll tell you about the centuries. Heaven's path. I assume the other one's probably in a hole. Okay. Can you go below now? Ooh. Oh! Nice. You just dropped oh, something into the other yeah. century. Yeah! Okay, I see. I think okay. we should probably try to turn off the sentries first. Sentry, sentry control chamber. I bet you can keep going that way. Probably knock that thing in the ice down. Oh, there's one right there, though. I bet you can do it. No reason not to try. It's not like you go further back. Chamber of the Mighty Bubble Conk. Conk. It's with a heavy heart, I must admit it is pronounced conk officially. Don't tell Aram I said that. One wishes to raise their glass in the dining room. Mon one must hit the secret tile under the table. That's probably the frozen chamber. Um, hi, voices. Uncle Crow! Um... There's that... The ruby and, like, ruby voices, or girl voices, heavy quote, that I do, that are that high... That's like really high in my head voice, and I'm really scrunching up the back of my throat to do that. Oh. Match. Match. Yeah, go for it. Match with us. Match with us. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Are you trying to draw a star? Maybe? Like the ones on the edges of the room? Maybe? It did say it was the sea stars, right? I think? I just want to turn them all over. Yeah. Um, and then those, like, naven voices. Those are more just... Those are in my chest voice. But they're very light, like I'm not moving the back of my throat at all. And it's like very hard to do certain things in this voice. So like I I can't sing in Naven's voice. That's really, really hard for me to do. And then for like for like old voice. Whenever I'm doing like an old person voice, I find that if you breathe a little more openly than you normally would and leave some shit at the back of your throat and Try to leave certain parts of your mouth paralyzed. That makes it sound a little older. Yeah, I wonder if you're supposed to have a star made of white tiles with a dark spot in the middle as well. And that that blue that's there by default, that's the top tip of the star. I guess. I, I'm just guessing. Yeah, so maybe this like little triangle here at the bottom. Yeah, and then uh, could be. I don't know. It's kind of hard to 
make us. Uh, you, start. you should. Yeah, you should try it though. It does say match with us. No Naven musicals. Like, trust me, I'd love to. I want to do a Yumta song, but like, I want her to sing in like a male lounge singer voice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Match with us. Who can say? There's a card on that statue's head. I know. Alas. Like her classified voice. I just think it's funny that- and like, Sarah Wiedenhef can sing, but I- I don't know, something about Yumta is so like, show many that I feel like that's really appropriate. <laughs> Electro Swing Lounge song. I'd love that. Every, every like, 15 minutes, I just, like, re-register how cute Finn is. Right? Maybe you're just supposed to have a hole in the middle? And that's it? Maybe try a cross of a hole? I, I don't know. This is tough. You can't hit that... That one raised guy, can you? That doesn't do anything, right? That's no. that's where it is, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I could think that would be then, with that color, is the tip of the star. Mm. So I think, I think the boxes of four on the left and right on both sides should be turned black. So and then this, this one. No, one higher. Yeah, so this this whole little quadrant of four. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, so that's the top. Okay. And then definitely the one yeah. Uh, no, that one should... That, that's the far point, I think. So the one above it. Yeah. I'm just guessing. And the... Yeah, that one you're on. And then... Let me see. Now, if this were me... Yeah, I would do those two. And then try the guy in the middle? You never know. No. Alright. Thanks for... Thanks for bearing with me. Got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Yay. Yay. Oh, they're happy now. I guess that's a star. Okay, yeah. It's okay. a little Stardew Valley shaped star. Like, we got the intent of the puzzle. It's just a little hard to. Yeah. Speaking of singing, will the next Dogs in Love include the four good cover at the end? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do one. I'm not including it if it gets me copyright struck, which it probably will. What is that? Oh. Do you throw this at the the wall or? Oh, well, there's a yeah. Behold, the awesome might of the legendary Bubble Conk. One who is blessed with it will swim faster and jump higher than anyone knew possible. Okay. What? Oh, okay. No. Oh. oh. Depending on how far you can carry this, this might be the way to get that one card in the pit, the pool with the three sea urchins. Maybe. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> And then maybe, uh, maybe that can get you the guy on top of the statue's head. Do covers normally get copyright struck? They, they end up doing a copyright split, which is still not good. <laughs> if you do it and it's copyrighted, please make a separate video or put it on Patroon! <laughs> I wish it 
check out the what that card gave you. Let's look at our book. Finn. Tom. Tom. And Sea Dragon. Um. They entertain. This is you. <laughs> Trail nerd. Yeah, we already looked at all those. Okay. Come back. Oh boy, be careful. Okay. Try, try taking it back to that uh, pool. See if you can leave the room with it. Yes. Nice. Oh, okay. I thought it was much further away. Be careful of the boys. The boys are oh, there's only there's. A, okay. Oh, oh, the boys. Yes. Wow. Good job. That really scared me. That's got to get you the boys, right? The boys. Yeah. The, the gobbler. gobbler! Now that's that's an N64 monster. You know, lavished affection on it when she was much younger, so it got spoiled and gained a serious sweet tooth. Oh, watch out for the gobbler. Oh, no! Come back. The cobbler, that's what they called me back in my college days. <laughs> Cello scared, time to cough up that one thousand dollars. I was not scared. Finn is scared. Finn is scared. Okay, there's a secret tile underneath the table. Just try jumping into it. Huh? 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 I don't see one. Yeah. Secret tile. Check the floor. Maybe you ground pound. Maybe the tile isn't part of the table. Maybe it's the floor. Try ground pounding a couple times if you can. No! I don't feel like all of that. Start Try to keep your camera on in case it starts blinking to disappear or something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Can I look at the texture on the bottom of the table real quick? Oh, there's an upper part of this room, too. Yeah, yeah, that's where I was going. Gotcha. Thinking of doing any more cosplay character analysis. Oh, you mean while I'm dressed as characters. Um, no, I, I have a lot of video essay ideas, but I've, I've been in kind of a bad headspace for stuff creatively lately, and I, I don't know why. Like, I just, I'm, I'm just in like an, it's not even an art block, it's just like an ADHD disconnect, where like, that's not the thing. I'll just try doing stuff, I'm like, nope, this isn't it. This isn't the thing my body wants me to hyperfixate on right now. Uh, we're doing another video right now that Amy is in that Piff's been tinkering with for a while, and I have to, I have to sit down this week and add sound effects and such to it. I I can definitely get that done by the end of this week. I've just been very lazy about it. I don't need you right now. There was a miscolored tile underneath the table, says oh. somebody. I love this game's color palette with my nightlight on so much that like I really don't want to turn it off. And I want I want an incorrect vision of this game. Whoa, that was very close. 
I just got back into drawing after rage quitting for a year. You might just be burnt out. I haven't really created that much recently, to be honest. I don't think I'm burnt out. It's just that, like, I'll I'll get an inkling and like a want. Oh, do you look at that door on the wall? Is that the the conch? No, it's a telescope. Okay. I guess just try. Ooh, try clicking that to open it. That's probably a fast travel door. If the button's right there. Oh, okay. That's what nice. Was this? I was looking at chat. What was the other thing that opened? Um, I believe it's a fast travel. Yeah, oh. so that's the bottom. Oh, that's nice. So nice. What's in the conch? Oh, I love theme. this. Yes. Here we go. What are some of your favorite video essays on YouTube? Anything done by Noah Cadwell Gervais or Jenny Nicholson and uh, Yam really likes Jacob Geller. I do really like Jacob Geller. I say that like I don't like Jacob Geller. I just haven't watched that much of his stuff. Um, I, I think he's very good. The book is caked in dust. This is very Majora's Mask Observatory. Can you move it around? It doesn't look like it. I think you gotta press the buttons to adjust its angle. Oh, huh. oh you're moving the stars. Oh, you're moving the star oh. texture. So I bet you can... Try going behind the book and kicking it to knock the dust off. I bet it has a diagram of what you're trying to make. Oh! A dragon! A dragon! Watching the Fred video before Velma released and then watching clips of Velma really made me appreciate your takes. It is... There's a lot of clips about that. You've talked uh, about how you don't get scared by horror stuff. How would you say other people in your friend group are about it? Yam gets very scared by horror stuff. Hard. Okay, there's a, there's a card behind the book. The people will like, that's the thing about playing a video game is Obviously, there's a whole screen, and when you're casually watching, it's easy for your eyes to, as a viewer, pick up on side stuff. Oh, that's pretty close. But, like, when you're playing the game, your eyes aren't absorbing the whole screen. They're only focused on the part you're actually looking at. So people will be like, how do you miss that stuff? And it's like, that's not what I was looking at. I don't really have an idea of how to make this one easier, sorry. Cause that it looked green, like he... The green bit looks like this part. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. So, I think... See how the, the two pages, the spine breaks them up? I imagine you're trying to put something that matches in the left window, the, like the window to the left of where you currently have the um, horseshoe shaped bit. Yeah. So that's got to be the other color, right? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That one has a lot. Is it? Hmm. Can you just have it go around one time so I can look at all of them? I was looking other places before. That one, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, can you scoot a little further left? Oh, yeah, you can't. I think, okay, so I think I need the yellow one. This Centered one. Centered in that window, that guy? Yeah, okay. That looks, that looks right. Try that. Try looking in. Oh, 
No. No, I was thinking I might need to center that green one a little bit better. Okay. That looks right. <gasps> Yo! Dragon! I think a couple of these puzzles are more clear than others, but I do really respect how they're all different. Yeah. This, I love this little observatory. It's yeah, this really is cute. great. Any plans to celebrate P Prison of Plastic's release anniversary? No, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed it's not still out. I was under the impression it would be out in October. Um, I don't have, I have been told the dates. Um, they kind of bum me out with, no, with how slow they are. But I believe what's going to happen is you'll be able to order it. I got to go really oh. fast. Whee! No! No! no I thought what? it would get You'll be there. able to order it what? maybe oh. holidays, maybe like a little early into 2024. I believe the there's a bunch of different dates and they have a bunch of different names for them. But essentially you will be able to purchase it in every like store and stuff by March. There, there's some date in March. And I didn't announce it because like I wasn't sure if that was okay to do. I don't know, I'm just I'm a little bummed out about it, to be honest. I we should. That's like half a year oh. later than I wanted. Oh. oh! Nice. Nice. Check out that card. I will. Um, po pokey, um, pokey. pokey pokey. Their babies drift down from the heavens into the ocean to begin their life. Oh. Oh. They cut off her what? Her I, head. I was looking at They cut oh. off the heads of the statues. Hmm. Some real rude people doing this war. Oh nice, I wouldn't have even thought to try and climb that. Oh. <laughs> do you think you're supposed to be able to do that? I don't know. I mean, you are supposed to climb those, hmm. but... Brody, guys. You should check around the edges of this map to see if there's a secret spot you can fall on. Oh, can you angle the camera down? Hmm, okay. People in the Epithet fandom are good at not spoiling Prison of Plastic. Yeah, I see a lot of people are waiting for the physical release, which I super appreciate. I... Yeah. Personally speaking, I wouldn't have been able to wait this long. I'm... I don't know, I'm just so annoyed. Card. They hate to see a girl boss winning. That's the last card in this area, right? I think so. You, you got the full page? Yeah. yeah. Big star. Big star! Apparently has an excellent baritone. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about what I want to do different with the books that are different from season one. Um, I think most of the stuff with Molly, Sylvie, and Giovanni is going to remain pretty much the same. I might have a little more dialogue between them, obviously. Uh, my goal is to keep both of these first two books really short because I want to write both of them and have them in production and release basically at the same time. But uh, I'm going to be incorporating more Mera lore that's gotten more explicit.
Naven scene animatic was uh, perfect. Yeah, people have done some great shit with that scene. I'm really impressed by that. What is this game and what is happening? This is Cavern of Dreams. It's a little N64 throwback game and it's very cute. It's the gobbler! It's the gobbler! Uh oh. What? Do you have any treats? Uh, no, don't gobble me. Where could you find a treat? Where would I find a treat? Do you think it wants the conch? You could try it. It's the only object that you can pick up and throw. You know what else you could do is once you've uh, ground pounded both of those blocks into the lower level of this, you, you haven't done it the one, the one on the right yet. Um, I think you can probably sneak around on the bottom floor again. Mm -hmm. I bet you can get away with it. I believe in you. <laughs> rolly, rolly! It's like the best part of this game by a huge margin. <laughs> more Mara lore means more island country lore. Uh, oh, careful. Oh, you can dodge them! Because I'm fast! You're fast! You can I'm fucking dodge I'm faster than them. you! Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I I can do a little bit, because I like, I don't want to, I, I, I'm too early in the process, I don't really want to, you, you could try, can you bunk his mouth? I feel like you're going to need an item from the bottom area, oh, oh. whoa! Oh. oh, okay. Maybe try throwing it, yeah, like about where you're standing. Maybe he, maybe he looks around and it was too close to him before. Whoa. No. Wow. No. He just says that when he gets hit. Okay. All right. I don't think it's the conk. How are you going to do the Museum Redwood transition? They're two different books. That's why Prison of Plastic is going to be the third book, chronologically. And I, I'm just going to... I'm going to try and release books one and two together. But, like, they're going to be different books. Yeah, I think it's in here. I think you just got to figure out a way past him. Now that you got those standing spots... No! I'm not underwater here, so it doesn't work. Oh... There's no way you'd be fast enough, right? Yeah, I, don't think so. I think I need to turn them off. Yeah. Any idea what the next video is? Yes. Smiles. <laughs> what am I going to call the first two books? I don't know yet. Um, I had two options. Obviously, like, I think Quiet in the Museum, which is the title of the first episode, is a good title for the book. Um, I also had Breaking Silence and Shards of Silence, which, you know, is kind of an allusion to both Molly and Mara's power set. I think it's probably going to be what I did for Prison of Plastic, which is I had a working title, which was Sugar Cookie Jazz. And I wrote the book, and there was a line where I was like, that's the title now. What happened to Bug Fables? I was traveling for two weeks. Yeah, Breaking Silence is clever. I just don't know if it's like a 
good name for a book title. Oh, is that... Apples? Big apples? Is that the bottom where the, the gobbler is? Is that the gobbler? The, oh, that's probably the gobbler, yeah. I bet you need to feed the gobbler something so that uh, it opens up and you can get down there. I haven't found anything, though. Someone... Go back to the dining room. Someone said one of the tiles was miscolored. Oh, that's right. Do you think any of the horror games you'll play will be legitimately scary? I was gonna maybe do the Dead Space remake. Uh, I was also gonna try Iron Lung. I'm specifically weak to horror where you're in water. Like, there's an area in Silent Hill 2 where you're just wading through water, and I was like, this is the worst part of the game, because there's oh, water. you should play Soma, then. People have told me that one is good and scary as well. I think my general plan is I'm gonna, like, do smaller stuff, and, like, the longer I go without getting anything, I'm gonna work my way up to, like, scarier and scarier games. Yeah. I kind of feel bad that Nightcry was as bad as it was. I remember that game being, like, funnier in its badness. I mean, it is funny in its badness. It's just in, like, a sad way. Yeah, that's... yeah. I don't think it was a bad suggestion. I, I think we played it for exactly long enough. Yeah. The... The crashing was a blessing in disguise. Deadly premonition and blessing in disguise. Oh yeah, there it is! What? It's that blue one. You see it? Un oh! It's oh. Okay, That's so now really you can hard to climb see. up to the top. I wonder if it's easier to see because I'm on night light and Maybe. it fucks with blue colors. Maybe. Deadly Premonition is so funny. The first Deadly Premonition is like a fantastic weirdo freak game. The second one's really, really bad, which is such a shame. The biggest thing I was hoping for was that the second game would like have new songs and they just straight up use the old soundtrack again, which is an amazing soundtrack, but like I wanted new songs. Yeah, it's like you already did that one. What am I hearing? Your boyfriend's lovely voice. Finn, why are you scared? Oh. 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 You might have to roll up. Or jump on the plates. Yep. Finn react. Oh, a Hollow Knight egg. It's like China. Oh. That's. Ta -ta. That's the knight. Found. Yay. Oh, card. It's another card. Oh yeah, I thought that. I thought this area would be done since we found six cards. I guess there's seven. Damn. Box nightmare. Oh. 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 <laughs> Fucking Zhang Li salt shit right there. <laughs> Man, remember when some of the Genshin lore was good? <laughs> yep. That was like three years ago. Hmm. Have I gotten scared yet? No, we've only done one game and it was Night Cry, so... We'll get there. Mm -hmm. I, I guess this room was just for the card and the egg. Hmm. I don't know what you're supposed to feed them. Does anyone know what you feed the gobbler?
Anyone know? Will I play the uh, Mario RPG remake on Steam? Definitely not. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Super Mario RPG. It's not bad, I just like... Paper Mario exists, and I think it's like so much better. <laughs> that being said, I'm not gonna be playing the Thousand Year Door remake on stream either. Already playing Bug Fables. Can you punch the king? I think he's just a statue. Yeah. Hey Jello, are you a fan of Urusei Yatsura? Is that the show with Lum in her little Oni diaper, the girl with the rainbow hair? Bo likes that series. I I have not engaged with it. I'm not sure what to give the gobbler. Yeah. Is there can you look at um you look at the checklist for this level? How complete is it? I need three more. And wow, that's six a way more, more mush. That's more eggs than I thought. Was there anything more to do at the no, top of have, that mountain? We have all the eggs. Sorry. Oh sorry. No, uh, we're we're missing three. I heard I I heard eggs but thought cards. Gotcha. Sorry. Can you go in that fast travel to the top of the slope again? Man, I love the color scheme of this area. Any thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> um, so on vacation, Yam, Will, Oz, and I watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, it, the first episode was fine. Like, and I was like, okay. Let's check this out for a little longer. And we watched three episodes, and there was no hook, and nothing about it was interesting, and the English dub wasn't very good. And then I was like, let's watch Chainsaw Man instead, because Oz and I read Chainsaw Man in preparation for trying out for it. And then we watched Chainsaw Man, and Chainsaw Man is really, really, really good. Yeah, they... Ooh. Jello and Oz pitched Chainsaw Man to us as, um, so Chainsaw Man is Jujutsu Kaisen, but better. And listen, it was. Listen, there are shows about an orange-haired boy who has to make a contract with a demon or else he'll die, who is immediately paired with a dark-haired stoic guy and an energetic freak blonde girl. There were other exact similar... Oh, yeah, and they go around, like... You only kind of got the start of this with the gun devil pieces, but, like... It's like, oh, you eat, if you eat a piece of this demon, you get stronger. Like, people want to eat the gun devil. People want to eat Chainsaw Man to get stronger. Like, it's... It's remarkably similar, except Chainsaw Man is, like, so fucking good. Chainsaw Man's pretty incredible. Is the Chainsaw Man one-to-one -to, -one to the manga? Um, it's, like, more cinematic and, like, a little slower, but in a good way, which is very strange. Um, there were certain things that I found a little bit weaker in the manga that were better in the anime. Also, Chainsaw Man's anime has a different ending every single episode, and, like, seven of them are excellent. And the rest are good. Yam, there's two other holes in front of the castle entrance. Oh. I I have not seen them, but we can check that out. By castle, do you mean this castle or the one underground? No, those they might mean these. Um, those were different textures from the one you break. When you were first making Epithet Erased, if you had the choice, would you try and do it through Glitch Productions? They only do 3D stuff, but, like, a absolutely. Um, I've worked with Glitch. They're very sweet. I'm in Meta Runner and doing something else with them right now. I think they probably meant those floor holes. Yeah. 
I can't find a guide, but I saw a comment saying you need to feed the eel apples, which can be easier to do if you get more powers and feed your siblings. Do you need to pick up an apple from a different world and bring it to the eel? Oh. Can you do that? I wouldn't have thought to do that, because that's like, in N64 terms, that would like never be something you could do. Someone said yes. Okay. Yeah, go try that, why not? Why not? I love how the creator's been going through the five stages of grief over... Oh, okay. Bye. Take care now, you hear? Go give that back heck for me. Back heck. Bat heck for me and the kids. God. All right. Yeah, love how the creator's been going through five stages of grief over Digital Circus's popularity. Uh, frankly, it's insane how viral that's gone. Like, I'm pretty sure it's doing better than Has Been Hotel did, which is, like, bonkers. Though I like, I think of all the indie animation I've seen, I think Digital Circus has the best pilot. Um, what world has apples? It's the tree world. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! I think you probably just use the mushroom. Oh, do you have to jump on the flying shit? Oh no. Yeah, I mean, I hope, I wish the best for Digital Circus, especially because Lenti's in it. And Lenti could use more popularity on their credits. I think you're just supposed to use that left mushroom to pull, jump directly up. It pushes me a bit out. Oh. What do you think of the Lackadaisy pilot? Yam and I got to watch it in yeah. a private screening. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah. It's animated very beautifully. You can just, yeah, you can just, uh, I think if you just ignore the gems and fly all the way to the other side of the rim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely think the Lackadaisy pilot is like a creative triumph in, in terms of technical stuff. Uh, I wish it had more music. It's very quiet, and it's jazz era, so, like, it's such an opportunity to have more music. Um, and I was talking to the guy who did the music and sound for it, and I was like, I'm really glad they had music, and he was like, I was the one who suggested they put music in the Rocky poem section at the start, and I was like, well, I'm glad you did that, because that was one of the best creative choices in there. Um, I think I did, I did have a pretty significant critique of it in that watching it, at, speaking as someone who's read Lackadaisy, and likes Lackadaisy, and I was like putting myself in the mind of someone watching that pilot who'd never heard of Lackadaisy, and I was like, watching this, I don't understand why I'd be rooting for Rocky or his two friends when Mordecai and the, um, the siblings are so fucking awesome and have so much personality. Like, I'm entirely rooting for the villains with no so <gasps> Whoa, your sibling looks ready to hatch! Yes. Bye! Eighty mashoosh. Oh, oh, you are oh, so looks, hungry! This one's. This one looks tired. Hop, hop, hop. Hop. Yay! Oh, he sleep. Your heart grew stronger. Yes! I love that feeding your siblings gives you quick travel access. Yes. Hello. Ah, uh, Finn. Hello. <laughs> oh, please don't worry yourself about me. I'm just a little tired. Me. Now, I do believe you're due for a new ability. Hold still. <gasps> now you can spit orbs of water. Lots of uses for that. I, it's so funny that I bet like that's the obvious solution to getting your frying egg uh, sibling free, but you can do it early by throwing a potion. Yeah. Finn, I must warn you. In the deepest part of the Cavern of Dreams is the Gallery of Nightmares. And there you'll find Luna. She's been trying over and over to take your siblings back. 
I've been able to hold her away, but my power is waning. Please, do your best to stop her. Bubble shot. Q. Oh. Oh, he bubbling. Wait, please. Yeah. <laughs> His eyes! I can't really turn around, but he goes, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess just fast travel to the uh, tree and pick up an egg and then fast travel to the crystal ball. Hopefully it lets you go through the fast travel point. Let's see. You, you think this bat's gonna get a redemption? Honestly, probably. This game seems very pleasant. It is very I'd be a little surprised. Okay, you can't fast travel. Okay, maybe you can. Wow. I just... There's so much with the item retention system that, like, I would never think. Yeah. Because that's just not a thing you're allowed to do in this era of games. And, like, so much shit just loads and unloads in specific areas. That's crazy. All right. Howdy there, and Finn. Howdy. Be careful about throwing it because it plants shit. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where he was. He's right here. Here we nice. go. That's clever. I wouldn't have thought to do that. Who was the gobbler? Was it me? I don't know. Good night. All right. All right. Hello, gobbler. Oh, Apple Chris, just for me. Yes, I'll have seconds. I guess there are I a lot of hints, like his. Like, his yeah, eyes are it's... apples, and you can, like, see his lair from inside, and it's full of apples. Yeah, no, like, it's- there's good hints, it's just I never- I I'm know. just so trained to not do that kind of thing. Honestly, I did sort of like the orange gun crazy cat and the dancing cat girl, but the main one with the violin wasn't that interesting to me. I don't get his character at all. Rocky's just, like, a poetic weirdo. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, some things I think work much better about Lackadaisy in comic format. I think Tracy does a great job painting how um, Rocky's poems, like him dancing across the bridge. It's, it's a lot easier to consume his poetry as written word. And I still think he's kind of a weird guy. But, like... I don't remember ever fully grokking his character either, but in a way where I was like, I will learn more about him one day, which is like a tricky thing to pitch in an opening when you pit him against Mordecai, who's just fucking cool as hell. Who's my favorite lackadaisy character? Mordecai. Oh, come on. Can you spit bubble at them? I'm trying. Hmm. To try throwing the conch at them. You, you can roll underneath the handle. It looked like Yam tried that. It's a good pilot because it ends with me wanting to know more about the characters and their deals. Nope. Yeah, it looks like an invisible wall. What happens if you throw rope? The rope. Bonk. I don't know. How do you turn this shit off? It says the control thing is here, I think. That's the that's the heaven passageway. Oh. Can you can you go underwater on those? Those are just like glass, right? You walk on it. Yeah, and then the room There's below. gotta be something you can do in the bottom room now that you put the platforms down. I don't yeah. I don't think you can get past the sentries, but there's gotta be somewhere you can go. Maybe. Is there a third block? No. Maybe I can 
get over there if I'm just quick? Maybe? Oh. Maybe. Which lackadaisy character would you voice, including ones already with a VA? Um, there's a kooky doctor character, but like to be honest, I'd cast Aram as him over me. I, like I, I did audition for the uh, lackadaisy. I got a call back for somebody, but like I, I did think the the person they cast. Whoa, there you. Go. I mean, you're just dead. You have to fall in. Yeah, you could just try running. Like, even this only gets you an egg. Yeah. No, I you, feel like I. Do you shoot bubbles at these? Um, I think they're too high. Yeah. Oh, I thought you could. You can't aim in first person. Oh, I can. Dang. Hmm. Meanies. Can. No. Oh, on top, above the water. It looks like there was a path or something above the water. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, did you want to try going fast? I... I can't. That... Even though this is underwater, it does not count as being underwater. Okay. If the eggs give abilities, maybe there's one you haven't gotten yet. It said at the beginning of the game that the instant you get to an area, you can 100% it. There's gotta be something else in this room. Can you... Maybe above the water line. There's something on the end of the room that is opposite the statue. smacking the statues out front. That unlocked a different puzzle. That unlocked the way to get into this room. Okay, so, yeah, turn the camera towards the door. I don't see anything here, either. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love that. I keep forgetting the kind of ground pad when you have this. I don't know, because, like, the implication would be that you'd Wanna just go through? Okay, this is stupid. Wait, oh, hang on, is hang that on. wait? Wait, hang on. I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. I got it. We got Come it, on. gang. I figured it out. Whee! Feel dumb. Dead. There we go. All right, these should be the last mushrooms. Mushoosh. Watch out! Lasers are still gonna get you. They're off. Oh, okay. You're right. Duh. Secret. Secret? Secret. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Whoa. Spoo spooky. What's it say? This room is spooky. Heaven's oh, this path? is Heaven's Path, right? Okay. Go that. One. There's another one. You can go that way. I bet this is going to be a big rocket puzzle. Whoa! 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 Cool. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Thoughts on the has been hotel trailer and cast getting new VAs? Feels like something I probably shouldn't comment on. Um, I don't like it, obviously. Whoa! Oh, shoot. Well, there's a mechanism you can start. Egg! Egg. Uh oh. Well, uh, I think you probably needed. Okay, good, there's another one. Wait, that's the same one. Go! Go, Finn! Egg is gone. Wait. No, it disappeared! I don't think you have a chance, but you can do it! Up! Oh. No, you needed it. 
Oh. Um, so when Hasbin got picked up for mainstream stuff, they ended up recasting everybody who was in the pilot. That's not super uncommon for animation pilots, of course. Um, they usually keep like, usually they keep like one or two people, or if the pilot was done like kind of unprofessionally or by the animator's friends, then they'll replace everybody. Um, but it is a little lame because Hasbin was championed so hard by its cast and like, uh, like just for example, the people who did the, I always want to call it the, what is it, Honey Cast? Um, which one of them, uh, Ashley, is the voice of Zubal now in Digital Circus. Um, she's one of the co-creators with uh, Dave on Farfetched, which I've pitched on this channel before. That's another indie oh. project. Whoa! Oh, I didn't know that was a void. That's fair. Yeah, the Honeycast crew. Um, yeah, and Bosco. So... You know, it's it's a little uncharitable that I I'm not the most well informed. I'm like two degrees of separation from most of the these people. Um, like I've talked to and worked with all three, like Bosco and Ashley and uh, Kovax, but like not very much. Um, so I don't want to talk out of turn. But I believe the auditions went out in L.A. for has been's official version, quote unquote. And then like the original actors were informed of that by people who got that audition, but they didn't get the audition. And then they're like, that's lame. Can we have the audition? And they got it late. Um, but like, obviously, you know, none of them booked it. Um, and I understand that with like, like obviously people are like, oh, you gotta have star power in your stuff, etc., etc. And they've got some... Oh, through there. No. Oh, no. Oh. oh, I messed up um, the last moment. And they've got, like, Stephanie Beatrice, who's in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and she's the lead girl in Encanto, is playing, what's her name, Baggy. Um, and, like, they've got Alex Brightman in it, and he's, like, a Broadway singer. And, like, that's all really cool. Uh, but, like... I personally, Lenti and I can talk about this for hours. We don't like casting for a celebrity, even if they are a pretty good fit for the character. Um, ha like, Hell of a Boss was doing a great thing where, you know, they've got their main cast, but then they've got, like, the big celebrities will be, like, the demon of this episode. And like Alex Brightland was one of those. And it's a great way to be like, here's our Broadway cast. It's kind of like what Steven Universe did where like every couple new gems, like and like Yellow Diamond and White Diamond are both Broadway actresses and Blue Diamond is like an Irish singer. So like, I, I don't know. Um, to me, even if you wanted to recast them, I think it's like soft mandatory that just at least once the actors are given like the original actors are given like a a cameo of like nameless demons at a table playing cards in the new, what, whatever the new pilot will be and as the old characters run by them they go like hey damn kids or something cute you know just to kind of acknowledge their original role i i think i don't know how much they were paid for the pilot i think I think they should probably be paid as like a buyout or something. Again, oh. not because oh. well, this is this very, visual effect is very strange. Um, not because they're entitled oh, nice. to anything, but they did they did do a an amount of PR and fan engagement that oh. is so above and beyond what would be expected of someone in their position that like. Oh, it's it's a little cruel to replace them as unceremoniously as they did. I got it. Oh, there's still one more. But if the voice actors were already good, what? Oh, jeez, were already good. Why change it exactly? I mean, they change it because they think that big names will get more people to watch, which is like true for basic pitches. 
thoughts on the latest Hell of a Boss episodes? I have never watched one episode of Has Been or Hell of a Boss. I just, I just know I won't like it. It's not a genre I'm into. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what story they want to tell with Has Been in the long run, but to me, it seems like it would have been a nice opportunity to keep younger actors who don't have as much under their belt and have them retain their role as an important character and then bring in like one episode villains and recurring characters as your star power right because like if you only use old big name actors then you're never gonna have new big name actors in the world you have to give people a chance and like I don't know I don't know much of the original cast very well but like Bosco's really excellent he does a ton of work and he's union so like what's the fucking problem with using him uh, and also every indie thing uses Michael Kovacs because he's fucking dynamite oh right I forgot about this egg somehow yeah um, same I was like, where's the last one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Kovacs is, he's Angel Dust, he's Rocky in the Lackadaisy movie, he's, uh, he's fucking Jax in Amazing Digital Circus, and everyone uses him because he's got the perfect voice for that archetype. So it's kind of lame that he voiced the sexy spider. Yeah, Yay! you did it. Oh, I'm so happy for you. That's a great little dance. Yay! But actors mean big advertising. I know. But you can keep, like, Kovacs and Bosco in there and they can get a nice credit because they did a good job and then you can just have like here's this new demon and they can you know be voiced by Alex Brightman or whoever I don't know it's I I'm sure that it was like the studio at least in part and not the creator but like Whenever an indie animator needs a skinny, tall young man, Kovacs manifests into their room like a primordial evil. Oh, uh, he's also the skinny young man in Circus of, Witches, <laughs> Circus of Wishes, which is another indie thing. Also, making the big stars one of the main one of the characters makes it more exciting in star appeal. Uh, star appeal sense in my yeah, like I. I feel like if you've got a big name like Stephanie Beatrice as your lead, like that'll generate some buzz once, but it's smarter to just have a, like, I don't know why this is my comparison, a Muppet show rotating thing of like, here's the guest this episode, here's the guest this episode, because then you get to be like, wow, check this out every week. I don't know. Look at all the babies I've saved. There's a lot of babies. So many babies. You're spiked, That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I also like. I don't want to spread unsubstantiated rumors because there's like a lot of mean shit online about the creator of Has Been, and I'm sure like 90% of it is fake. But like. I have heard a lot of things, never from people directly, but like I keep hearing like, oh, I'm a friend of like this person who did this specific thing on this and there was some like, it wasn't a great working experience. And I know that most of the crew for the original thing has like cycled out, which is not a good sign. So like, again, I try, I don't know, I try and keep my nose out of all that stuff. Oh, yeah. <gasps> He's a happy boy now. What happens if you bump into him now? Gotta chill out. Yes. It's the scary level. Oh. It is the scary level. How many pages are there in the journal? In the encyclopedia? Yeah. Okay.
Oh, can you look at the box nightmare one more time? Okay, I don't know what element that is. In the little ball. Why can I not look at the other? It's not letting me look at the other pages, and I don't know why. That's weird. Okay. That weird. Favorite character in Amazing Digital Circus? There's not enough of it yet. Have you heard of Fran Bao? Yeah. I don't know much about it. Rose. What was my favorite set piece or scene? The bit where the character, I think it's King, Kinger, whatever his name is, is like shaking rapidly and glitching out and they have no sound effect is so funny. Luna. Oh. oh. Sage, what are you doing? That's a source filmmaker ass joke. It super is. Mechanisms to. I haven't been seeing any mechanisms. I don't, I don't see any either. Can you shoot shoot water at the torches? That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Nice. Uh oh. Ah! What? I don't know why. I, mean, I you don't like that. You don't have to be up there to do it. Just yes, uh, use do. the first person name. Oh, you're right. But it might be easier because it doesn't spin very fast. Have I ever read... Oh, hey, Yam. Have you ever read Tea with the Black Dragon by R.A. McAvoy? I have not. Is that a children's book? Now that you're up here, I think you should use the first person. Bro, it's a mechanism. It's a mechanism. Whoa! Look at Whoa. that! You see that? Oh, I, don't, I don't like that. My eyes already oh. don't work very well. became small. Do you think Lorelai will ever reconcile with Molly after the events of Prison of Plastic? Why would you ask me, the creator, a question I so obviously know the answer to? <gasps> nope, not on this page. I can't look at the other one. That's a strange thing. I think, I think it just might be bugged. Yeah. Thoughts on game theory? I don't... I don't like the idea of treating... I don't like the trend of people treating everything like it's secretly super deep. And I think so much bad has come from that. Jello Parasocial is a pretty good horror game that relates to your job. Yeah, Aloha and I took an hour yesterday and pulled up a bunch of options. Parasocial was the one that made me go, ha ha, uh oh. Oh, spooky noise. Finn! Oh! It did say, beware the hunger. Ah! Whoa! Well, I guess that's the hunger! Oh, what's this? Oh. 
spit water at it. I got it. It's a guy. Oh, I believe in you. I think you can just go under it. I like this rose themed spooky area. Yeah. Yeah, I meant, well, did you do anything with that block? What oh, is that, well, sorry, was that a plaque? I've been watching chat. Um, that was the switch, it opened the door back. Gotcha. Oh, there's the not to, Not to mention most mascot horror now puts vague little hints, but no major lore, so Game Theory and other YouTubers make videos so they can steal ideas that work. Yes. Uh, I find it, like, I watched Aloha and Lenti play a little bit of Garden of Ban Ban when I was on vacation, and it made me deeply angry. I have a lot to say on that subject, and I just won't. No one lives under the lighthouse. That's a cool name. I'll look that up. A slow burn retro horror game. I'll look at this a little later. I'll put it in my wish list for now. I think it's I think it's a shame that game theory game theory has sort of just come to the to that. Cause it's such a nice idea to just be like, let's let's put our critical thinking tools to the test and what can we come up with and yeah, that's just like, not what it is. Matt Pat seemed like, seems like a good enough guy, and I remember I followed Game Theory when it like first started, and its videos were like silly things like how fast does Sonic actually go, and yeah, like how tall is Mario in comparison to this stuff, and like you know that was kind of fun to use like silly logic of like well in these two games where we have definite heights for these characters, we'll do this like. There's a lot of videos like that nowadays where they're like just silly little questions that like no one really needs the answer to, but it's kind of fun to like think about it for 30 minutes. So it's a good video. Um, but yeah. But yeah, game, game theory isn't really that anymore. It's like, let's put on our tinfoil hats and come up with some absurd shit and maybe a game dev will steal it, which sucks. Yeah. I I just hate I don't know, I just hate lazy creators. And I don't think game theory go behind the castle before you go in. Oh. I already did. Oh sorry. Gather me up nightmares. She I is am angry. Not scared. You jump into the painting. Okay. I don't. What is this thing? That's Luna. Oh. Egg. I trust it. See, you'll really believe anything, won't you? No wonder Sage tricked you so easily. Enjoy the trip, numbskull! This is definitely Luna talking. Only a pointy-headed, moon-eyed moron would ever wear these gross gloves. Oh, poof. Okay. Well, I don't know what those are for. There might be a statue or something. Whoa! <gasps> Glover reference? Shush. I'm gonna go 
us some chocolates real quick. Well, I'm in scary. Goodbye. Uh, chat help. Shell, ew, it's all wriggly. It's like wet spaghetti. I dare you to touch it. It's me, I'm back. I hate it when Finn is sad. Me too. What is... That's definitely an enemy. Egg. Good job. Saved. Egg. Whoa. Whoa! It's an eyeball. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Huh. Maybe that's our good friend, Mr. Carrington. But it did look like Mr. Carrington. That's the Headless Mermaid. It's one of those angel statues, or is it? it? Reminds you of somebody. I love Milano cookies. Oh, uh -oh, bro, it's spooky time. We definitely have to do something with the shadows, but I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe you gotta stand in place of where their head would be to create a full non headless guy. Try ground pounding on the top of it. Did you did you stand on the necks of those shadows yet? Uh no. Maybe you gotta be standing on their neck to make their head when the lightning flashes. Oh. Higher up higher up statue shadow doesn't match its position, says chat. Oh, you gotta give that to the painting. It's her head. Oh no. So, here, right? 
Finn is trying to be so brave. Yep. Wow. Luigi's Mansion. It's me, I'm Boots. Speaking of horror, when it comes to horror games, I think they're at their best when there really is no explanation for the horror, monster, or supernatural bad thing. Which is funny, because... fucking music. Conversely, I think that horror shows, movies, are at their best when there is a bit of backstory and you can speculate but never def uh, definitively answer. I think... I think with horror... You... Less is a lot more when it comes to explanation, but you need to know the rules of your creature and there needs to be a set rule set. Because if shit is just happening, then it's boring. Mm. I guess let's go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a fucking card? Whoa. Whoa! What? The water seems no! different here. Can you not go up? No, I can go up. Okay. Hmm. Something's wrong. You can't seem to catch your breath. Oh, I don't think you can go that way yet. Hmm. Is Resident Evil 3 an option for horror games? No. It's too action-y. Is this the Carrington level? Welcome to Stinky Sewer. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, these are the four elemental guys. Yeah. That's the flying guy. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! That's no good. Underwater, there's a card. Yeah, but that looks evil. That's okay. I don't know if it's okay. Whoa! No, that's, that's not okay. It's not okay. That is not okay. It's it's all right. That didn't happen. Big sad face. Oh, Ew. Oh. Whoa! Oh. No! Jeez. Oh god! <sighs> Darn. Sorry, I was moving really quickly there. Yeah. Whoa! 
What? I guess that's a pit. I nope. guess that's... it is. What's this way? Well, now that you found the path to Sniffles, I feel like you should you should go that way. I guess. So that if Sniffles says something like, I wish I had a pair of gloves, <laughs> you know what to do. Make sure you don't get too close to Sniffles because. Can you read that sign and then leave? You gross! Wipe your nose already! Maybe you gotta hit the booger. Or. Hit booger with bubble? try. Alright. This will be great for nose breaking. <laughs> There's also that triangle on the ceiling, which might be a switch. Well, fair. Well, you tried. Yeah. Oh, and there's a plus symbol on that 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 part of the ceiling. Mm. Okay. I want to go this way first. Okay. Oh yeah, World of Horror is on the list. That game looks fucking awesome. She doesn't have gloves. Oh. <laughs> gloves, no, stupid idiots only. Serious answers only. A rat. You'd be a rat. Jerma, you're a rat. You're a rat. I think I'd be a wolf. I think I'd be a wolf. I think so, too. <laughs> Kill the Jello, I think your fursona would be a ferret. Who am I, H bomber guy? <laughs> Wine glass. 
Fixing egg. Fragile! Do not touch! Yes, that means you, you stinkwad! I'm gonna touch it. Oh. There's a little guy in there. Nah, you gotta come at it from higher. Oh, I gotta be so strong to go in there. Huh. Is it like up on the ceiling really high up or something? There is a car, Red. I know. Uh, my, my fursona is definitely a mean old goat. <laughs> Yam is a dragon! I think I'd be a dragon. I think so, I too. I think so, too. <laughs> is it on the spinning platform? Maybe. My burp. In front of one of the paintings. Okay. I don't know if that's just someone guessing. I'm just reading random chat stuff. You can check out other stuff. Oh, that's how to get back here. That's where I came in. Jello, honest opinions on Dope Pong Kingdom? I gave them. They're not, it's a terrible video game. You can jump down. Yeah. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> it's got his eyeballs. Hello. Why do you got eyeballs? Don't look at me. My eyes are down here. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck that. Evil painting. Egg. Egg. Look at the egg. The turtle is here. What's he missing? I don't know. Was his there shell. something on the turtle? His shell? I think he doesn't have his shell. Okay. Would I rather play Dokopon Kingdom again or Killer Frequency? I don't think you could get me to play another run through of Killer Frequency if you put a gun to my head. At least I can input shit while I'm playing Dogapon Kingdom. Killer Frequency is just straight up boring. His little fish friend on his head. Okay. That looks evil. That's yeah, probably not good. Coward coffin. I dug this guy up because I thought it would be scary, but he's just a whim. Ugh, it's so hard to find good help. Fucking Lorelei blind death over here. Do not look at me. Keep your eyes away. You have to turn the eyes of the uh -huh, statue. I see. There, there's another one up there. I know, I saw. Oh, we have to turn them all away. I get it. Yeah. What are these things supposed to be? Ooh. Oh, they're like cola cans. Yeah, 
ช็อตสวยI'm back. It's tree. Well, that's a big poker. I love that Finn is not scared of this room at all. Yeah. Okay. My curse has been lifted. You may pass. One of the... Oh, I guess the coffins were just to get up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go up there. Secrets. Secrets. Why do you think Silent Hill 2 is a successful horror game? Yam and I crack our knuckles. A lot of reasons. It's really good. Um, it has tight themes and good foreshadowing. Where are you supposed to go? Up to that red tunnel? Doesn't some really look like you. Doesn't super look like you can make it. Yeah, maybe there's jester shoes. I mean, you can try. No, no, like no way. Well, I have more videos with lesbians in them. Do I have any videos with lesbians in them? Sky pirate girlfriends. Silent Hill 2 Remake makes me worried. Rumor going around is they want a playable backstory for Pyramid Head. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that better Don't. be fake. That better be fake. Oh my god. That sounds... That's such an embarrassing misread of the original game. <laughs> but what's Pyramid Head's backstory? <laughs> I'm a hack, I have to know. If you water this plant, I'll kill you. Oh, those are wings. Oh, those are... They're Mr. Carrington. Carringtons. Maybe you give them to that eyeball? Ugly wings. Ugh! I wouldn't use these as a dishcloth, never mind wings. Ugh! Big. <gasps> oh. Now I bet you can get to that red room, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You have to spit water at this guy? What is this a picture of? Okay, I guess it's pointing to the right. 
Or maybe it's generating wind? Whoa! Oh, there I go the way. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Is this a boss fight? It's too dry. It's you can't seem to shoot bubble. Oh no. Oh. I think it's time to leave. But I made it green. Oh! Oh, you can. Oh. Can't do it. Okay. Maybe we. Yeah, need... follow the arrow because that's definitely pointing somewhere. Is it? To the right. Forget that card. Yeah, I think there's a wall there. Oh! Oh, this is the Carrington thing. Yeah! I guess we need to get back. The arrow on the actual bush, not the painting. It's a sandstorm arrow puzzle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I guess... Oh, I see. Just... Oh... Uh, I don't think I ever would have thought to do that, to be honest. Whoa! The light spot. Whoa! That's the first one. Oh, there. There was a house. Good. I guess that works, too. Ooh. Egg. Did any of your fun friends play Armored Core 6? No. Jay, I think. Uh, Aloha. I want to. Going to that house now. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, they were after me, dude. Many fellas. <laughs> oh, they're tricks. Well, no more of your siblings are here. They're looking up. What are they looking at? The moon. Okay, so this is just a Majora's Mask thing. That's cute. That's a cute little reference. Yeah, this is the... All right, baby, it's wing time. Whoa! Here we go, baby, it's wing time! I think that's a wall. 
You might be right. All right, it's time to go into the red hall. Oh, just walk up the chains. You're so smart. You're so smart. I'm gonna be honest, I really thought that would fail and they would just go through. Do you have anything else on this encyclopedia page? Whoa! Bro, Finn is living. Yeah. No. Nope. That's a pretty big issue that every time you close your book, whatever you're holding seems to get thrown to hell. It's because it's because I'm pressing circle to get out of it, and circle is also the throw button. Yeah, but that's not good. I know. Have I watched Mike Flanagan's newest and last Netflix show? And if yes, what did I think? Um, I have given Mike Flanagan too many chances, uh, and he doesn't get my time anymore. Haunting of Hill... Oh. Oh. Haunting of Hill House is a miserable experience, but like a masterpiece. Bly Manor is not very good, but at least it's more fun in the first half, and you like the cast. And I, th I think Midnight Mass sucks, honestly. I think Midnight Mass is just, is the preacher on screen and talking? If so, it's good, and everything else about it is big bad. What's my issue with Mike Flanagan? Dude doesn't know how to advance a character without pausing everything for a six minute monologue. It's embarrassing. Whoa. Any horror... Whoa. Any horror game that gets close to being as good as Silent Hill 2? No. This is an interesting area. Whoa. Whoa, I bet this is going to be a big rolly egg puzzle. I like the little bass riff in this version of the song. I'm embarrassed that I actually wouldn't have thought to even do that. Why are you spitting on all of them? Because I'm waiting for the fire one to come back. ignore it for now. Or that. That's smarter. Just just aim when it's right in front of you and stay there in a spot where you know at what trajectory to hit it. Got it. Nice. Alright. I like that Finn is a water dragon. Yeah. I bet you could fly down and get that card. Uh, yeah, but I'm just sort of looking around because I'm not sure I want to get rid of my wings yet. There's a... Alright. Yeah, you could definitely get the card. Oh, was that on fire? Yes. Oh! You got the card, though. Did I? It went up to 31. Oh, okay. Look at the checklist real quick. Yes. 
Ow. Now it's working. Starving art. Hmm. <laughs> What's rattles? Oh, yeah. several scenes that make you cry. Hill House is... Hill House has some of the best ghosts in anything. I especially love the Hat Man ghost. Hat Man Arkham Asylum. Oh, there's a big chain puzzles. You going? Finn is going for it! Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Oh, shoot. What? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Any horror movies that got a scare out of you? No. No. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what? The Ring has a good moment. The American version of The Ring. I've seen both Ring and Ringu. I think I think the American one's better. Um, there's a moment where the main character is investigating the lighthouse where... What's, what's her name? Samara? Sadako? Uh, where the ghost's dad lives. And she's investigating. And there's a really great quiet jump scare as she's going around. Oh my goodness. Um, and like a light turns on and the guy is just standing there and like she doesn't even notice him at first, but it's really good. Instead of trying to get on there, yeah, you should just go to those. I don't know if you'd like it, but House of Usher has less monologues than Midnight Mass, so that's a plus. Bro, a production of Hamlet has less monologues than Midnight Mass. Just keep climbing. Thoughts on Evil Dead? I did just watch that. Uh, we only watched the original. The... The girl in the basement has very good mask prosthetics for how cheap that movie is. Um, I, I don't think anything about it is worth talking about other than that, though. There's a really visceral shot where someone gets stabbed in the ball of their foot. That made me go, ugh. Which isn't really scary, it just like sucks, but it did make me feel. What does it say? Stupid fish! Stupid fish! Point and laugh at it! Uh -huh. No! No! Oh, we gotta get back up there now. Oh, we have to ride. Yeah, I do, I do like Cabin in the Woods. I don't think it's scary. Oh boy. Ooh, that was close. I'm trying to think. There must have been something. There must have been some movie that scared me. There's some there's some scenes in the original The Innocence that I think are really creepy. I've never seen the movie though. Too many of them rely on gross-out gore, cheap jump scares. Yeah, gore isn't scary. It's just gross. 
When I was 17 and Hill House had just come out, the bent neck lady jump scare when Nell is at the motel gave me nightmares. Hill, Hill House is good. It's one of the better ghost things. The background ghosts in Hill House are uh, very, very good. <gasps> Egg. Egg. Oh, you know what? The thing? The thing I don't think is scary, but it is excellent. Shut up, Luna. I don't think I noticed a single background ghost in that show when I watched it flare because my monitor is so dark. And then I watched it and I was like, wow, that's really intelligent. That was really well done. And also, the monologues in Hill House are really good. Especially Nellie's confetti monologue, which is one of the best scenes, period. I've not seen Crimson Peak. I love these wings. Yeah, they're great. I think the thing is very smart. It's fun to watch it and then watch videos of people being like, which characters are things and when? Did you press that switch? I genuinely yeah, don't remember. I did. Cool. All right. So when Chet says, the way Finn kicks his little feet when he glides. Hee 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 That's on fire. Why are you going over there? I thought the heat would make me go up. Okay. Fuck! Nope. Obviously. No. Do you recommend the thing? Yeah, the thing's great. It also has Keith David in it. Nice. I bet if you I bet you get something if you put out all the torches in this room. Because their lights change colors. Oh, you they slowly go back on fire. Oh, boo. Alright, never mind. Nine is also a very underrated kids' horror movie. Is that a horror movie? I don't know. I we watched it in Spanish class in Spanish. I don't really remember anything about it, which is not a great sign. Eggs. <laughs> Nueve. There's still plenty of places you haven't been to the top of just by climbing chains. I like that one. Yeah, I didn't go over there yet. That's
Oh, there's Mr. That's Carrington. That's Mr. Carrington. Okay. Oh, you probably have to return his wings to him. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's not fair. Oh, there's a little one. Oh! Dude, that's not fair. <sighs> oh. Well, I mean, that gets you to the exit of the room faster. I guess. What? You need wings. Why are you going forward? Because I have to go up and get the wings. Oh. Sorry, I assumed it deposited you at the exit of the room. One of them, yeah. Wings are over here. Oh, yeah, you know what? There's... There's one or two good episodes of Creeped Out. Which is like a Netflix Canadian horror show. It's like a Goosebumps type thing. to use these anymore. Maybe Mr. Carrington will lend them to you. Maybe. Oh. Um, fuck. What was it? I just had one in my brain and it went away. Wing! Has any piece of media actually scared you before? Uh -huh. Yeah. Robot egg! You figured that out by accident! Admit it! Robot egg! It's a fish again. Yeah, there's there's one spot still at the top of this place you haven't been to that's got like a big red dragon face painting. Yeah. Oh god. Oh wait, oh. maybe it does. Yeah, there it is. Try hitting it with water. Huh. I think this is just another portal. Whoa. The coils of agony! Not this is scared. just the this is just the Dragon Ball afterlife. Mario 64. <laughs> I, I can't succinctly answer the question what makes good or bad horror. Because, like, I don't think there, there's, like, almost no good horror. 
You know what to me is one of the scariest media experiences I've ever had was reading Journey to the Center of the Earth. There's a long section in the middle where... No. All right. No, no, no. That's okay. Oh, mama mia, mama mia. There's a long section in the middle where they're in this huge expansive underground thing of tunnels miles long and miles beneath the earth and it's three guys and they're in like pitch black darkness and at some point the young guy gets separated from the other two and by the time he realizes he's alone it's been several minutes so he calls out and hears nobody and they end up like hearing his voice from far away and it takes minutes for the echo to respond and he's like, okay, sit there. I'm going to do a calculation of how far away you are. And, like, he has to sit there for 30 minutes. And the guy's like, all right, you're three miles away from us in a random tunnel. And there's, like, this horrible section of them trying to figure that shit out and how to get back together. And it's awful. It's, like, it's so fucking scary. The section in Night in the Woods where... Um, I Christ. I still think the scene where um, after the Angus sitting with the stars um, oh my god you, you just gotta stay in one place and hop over them but only when they're close yeah you got it Snakes! Yeah, Flair, you'd hate Journey to the Center of the Earth. It's all bullshit. Um, that's an interesting texture. It's snakes! <laughs> yeah, for me, the only horror that does literally anything for me is when, like, you can. The, the blinking pillar in the back left, if I need to get it or something. Oh, alright. Yay! Siblings are here. That bitch is blinking. Get him. Oh, he is blinking. Why are you blinking? Oh. <laughs> I guess that's what they wanted you to do. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Finn's just like, this is fine. Oh, they're bubbles Oh, they now. shoot bubbles now. <laughs> no more siblings. Okay. Were there any cards in there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um... I think you've probably gotten everything in here. Yeah, I think so. Unless there's something near the very bottom of the room. Can you look down? Hmm. I think so. What? Well, I have to see. Bring fish to the pit. Bring fish to the pit? Okay. Oh, you know, honestly, the fucking, um, the girl who can see them has some good horror moments. I think... I think one problem with a lot of horror is that it sticks so hard to being like, well, this is scary and this is a horror vibe, that you kind of, like, why... Oh, no, I can't. Because that's the only way yeah. to get up here. Oh, no, to the pit. The the one at the bottom of the water where it said you can't breathe down here. Oh. Uh... Not the snake area. That's just the exit that you came from. Uh, 
Um, remember yeah, that so is. it was. I don't really remember either, to be honest. Um, yeah, but e either way, like horror all being the same tone gets very boring. Like if it's just morose the entire time. Uh, I find horror where you care, like horror where you give a shit about the characters. It, it must have been in the sewer area, right? We found it really early. Yeah, it was probably down one of these ways. Was it in there? Maybe? Mm. Oh, Jester shoes. Tinkle, tinkle. I think the fish gives you, like, the conch powers. Well, maybe that'll let you swim fast enough. <laughs> Gotta get that card, too. All right, see it. Yeah, that's it. Can you go down there? Just try regardless, even if it's like, no. Oh, I never would have thought to try this with a fish. Oh, it just... Hmm. Is there anything... Well, hang on. Is there anything else in that room? Something on the wall, I thought. I'm gonna... What? The bear in Annihilation scare you. I don't know what Annihilation is. God damn it, I'm so stupid. Ah! I don't even know if this is right. You should, uh, before going back in the pit, you should see if you can get a little higher and grab that card. Oh boy, he walking! I think you're gonna have to get one step, yeah. Either on top of like there, or the angel's heads. Probably, probably just this top platform will be enough. Oh, it might be too tall. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Hunger. Okay. Has anything in Resident Evil scared you? Um, I mean, when I was little, I was scared of zombies, but I got over that by get by binging Resident Evil. 
Oh, you know what? Uh, there was a children's book about dinosaur detective kids. And their first book was about zombies, and it gave me my fear of zombies. Why does this work? It's not working. Are you just gonna need to find bubbles or something to keep breathing? Maybe. Whoa. Say hi. I don't like that. I don't like that. Goodbye. No, say hi to it. No, I don't want to say hi to it. Um, but anyway, the... In this book, it was more of a classical witch doctor voodoo zombie, and people would disappear into the swamp and get hypnotized to act like freaks. Oh, it's in my view. Okay. Oh, boy. I think you probably have to come in like two or three trips. Finn, no! Um. And it's really, it's spooky. And there's a scene where someone's recounting, they're like, yeah, my daughter went missing. And she came back. But like, she showed up at like three in the morning. So I like wanted to talk to her and be like, what are you up to? Where, where were you? And she wasn't really talking back. Oh, you have to grab the Chester boots every time. I um, do I have to repeat the ones I already did those? I think you can do all three in one go. That's a very generous timer. And it's like, you. there's this illustration of the girl and she's like, yeah, I had tea with my daughter, but she didn't really talk very much. And then, uh, then, like, I went to bed, and I woke up, and, like, she was walking out the door back into the swamp. And there's an illustration of it, and it's just awful. Like, it's like she has no eyelids, and is just, like, staring blankly across the table, holding the tea like she doesn't know what to do with it. It's very creepy. I just joined the stream to see the little guy. Is it meant to be spooky? No, this game isn't spooky. What's the book called? Um, you you can't find it anymore. Let me see. I find I'm very weak to like the knowledge that something has been watching you. I find that very spooky. I used to have this image saved. Oh, okay. That's... That one didn't do anything. Oh, here it is. Uh, it is Graveyard Creeper Mystery Number One. Swamp of the Hideous Zombies. I'll see if I can find the original image. Oh, oh, geez, okay. There's one. I can't wait for this image to like not be scary at all. Oh, Jesus. Wolf. Oh no. I don't want Finn to drown. I wish there were like an actual timer. Like this this amount of time is just generous enough to be like confusing. Yeah. Swim. 
Yeah, okay. I'm not seeing any actual illustrations of this book. It's a rare book. These are like way out of print. Oh. Was the matching game? Yeah, things that uh, things that spread disease also, yeah, really fuck with me. I don't like that at all. Uh, that's one of the. That's one of the reasons I'm so uncomfortable with water in things. Do -do -do -do. vessel. to do all of them. I would just go for it. Okay, the other one is in the green for... one. It's green, blue, and red, right? Yeah, okay. Because it wasn't purple. going. Oh, no. Just hang on the edge and pray. All right, that's the last one. Egg. Hopefully this will stop this area. Ooh. Yay. Ooh. That was a scary one. Are there any cards in this area? I guess you can't tell, right? Um, I think for the nightmares. I have no idea. I guess I can see what's in here now. Ah. Oh, this is the fake one, I think. Oh, wait. Aha! That is useful. Whoa. Okay. Oh. And 
then the yellow one is a trick. Oh. Oh, creepy. What? That's the big thing that tried to get me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. I did not like that area. Yeah. It was creepy. Okay. It's more that it takes too much time. Wait. <laughs> that's, that's the other thing with me in horror games. I'm always like, man, don't waste my time. <laughs> So, like, I think I almost view any... Oh, that's smart. I think I almost view any, like, instance of you've triggered a spooky thing happening as, like, Oh, good, I triggered the spooky flag. Huh, where are you? Oh, this is... The oh, this is the other side of that, uh... Yeah. yeah. Mushroom jump. There's a thing on top of the pipe. I remember this. Oh. It must be possible. Is there a switch to open this? Maybe up? No, I guess not. I don't I don't think this was a fast travel. I think this was just um there was a card on each side of this wall and now you've got both of them. Okay. Did that count as a card for the final area or I don't know. Nope, it had all those. Then siblings. siblings! Someone seems to have painted them! Oh, okay. So it is Luna. Oh, shit. No! Every. literally every time. I'm um, sorry. Wait, I don't. Do I still need that, though? Uh. There's gotta be something with the shaped green lights, right? Says Sono. Yeah, I think you're right. Because that's a circle, there's a cross, there's a triangle. I feel like it's probably more of a memorization puzzle. Ah. And we haven't, uh, we haven't solved Sneezy yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sneezy's in there. Um... I don't know what you do. Last card right there. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't right I didn't see it. Oh, sorry. I was watching chat. So my video was delayed. I'm gonna go back and get... Ah! I'm fine. I'm gonna go back and get the rocket thing. So that I can maybe get... Or, no, you know what? Let's just get the card. Oh, There's spikes right. there. That's fine. Where am I? Oh. Okay. And that's the last card? It is the last card. Excellent. Okay. In the whole game? You're still missing some. The well, last card for here. Still missing some in the cavern of dreams. Cup. Oh, is that a square? Yeah. Plus, it's like a diamond. Plus circle square. Can you go over there? No. Have, you, have you gone under that one? or It kind of looks like there's a scratch mark at the bottom. Nope. Alright. Hmm. Stupid idea, but can you look up to the top? Is it open at the top? Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do with those ceiling thingies, because it doesn't really seem like you can interact with them. We're gonna need Sneezy. Yeah, just, uh, try to see if you can get catapulted into the triangle. Whoa! You're definitely gonna have to use one of these things as a ramp. Mmm, doesn't really look like it. Do you stay afloat? Mmm. Okay. Uh, Whoa! Yeah, sure I, actually, that... Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Um, try... You know, you shot the... You shot the booger. Try shooting with bubbles the nose and then the eyes. I don't know why that would do anything else, but, like, I don't know what to do here. Oh. Okay. Why did that work? I don't know. Oh! Oh boy. Oh! A doghouse. Okay. Well, okay. Whoa, I always forget that's there. The green things are the same as the whirlpool in the green area. I don't know if that means. Choo 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 choo. Okay. Dear diary, Papa is stuck and won't move. He's very, very cold. I got scared and cried. When a nice person named Sage came along, Sage is much nicer than Papa, and they can make cool stuff like a big dragon. I want to make a big dragon too. Sage is so cool! Dear Diary, Sage has been showing me lots of cool things. I've been paying close attention. Today I made a really cool thing to show them. It's a bat that sets on fire! Whoosh! And it cries! But Sage didn't like it. They said it was cruel. I'll keep practicing, and I'll make something Sage really likes. Dear Diary, I made Sage really mad. I made a super cool world full of wicked awesome monsters that never die and attack anyone who gets close. And I spent a lot of time on it, but they said it was unforgivable and put me in this place. Please come back soon, Sage. I'm sorry. He is sad. Alright. Oh, it didn't really help me. Um. So we kill Sage now, right? I I'm gonna be honest, I'm still hoping Sage isn't a bad guy because I think that's boring. And I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily think that reacting to creating an unfathomable world of unkillable monsters as, wow, that's awful, is the wrong move. Um, I guess 
guess I can try and go and talk to Sage. Yeah, you can also just look around the Cavern of Dreams. Glowing green door upstage, upstairs you opened with Sage hands. This organ music keeps reminding me of a specific song from Deadly Premonition. Whoa! Uh, no, I went in there. This is the weird garden. Yeah, it's this place. Did you go down there? Which? Yeah, I don't... that's the oh. garden where you get the wings and stuff. Oh. Uh, and the the about... coffin is there. Checked all the other rooms. I'm gonna see if Sage has anything to say. Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? I did not expect that to happen. The four is my heart level. Um, so every time you fully feed a sibling, you gain a heart level, and I have three right now. So I assume. Well, maybe one of my siblings is there, actually. Try, uh, try wetting all these fellas. Okay. What's the worst horror media you've ever seen? Probably some new ground shit, but like, honestly, Night Cry's up there. Night Cry is fucking embarrassing. Shoot it when it's coming on the right side of the circle where it's coming towards you, you'll have a longer time to hit it. Me when I'm two boobs to walk. Thanks, Flair. <laughs> What's that? What's what? That thing up there. Is that Jester shoes? Oh. Uh, Some, maybe. Something's... Could be an egg if we're lucky. Yeah. Um, just, just go up. Yeah. Looking at the best path. There's only one path, hun. I could go that way! It's- it's not hidden. Leave me alone. Yeah, but you gotta cool that guy down and jump on him. Roll. That works too. You can ride! Oh. Yay! Egg! Egg. Cha cha! Yes! Yay! Nightcry is actually the best horror ever because it has a guy with scissors. I'm about to blow your mind. I looked into the lore of Nightcry. That scissors person is a woman. I didn't remember that. You weren't told that. Nope, I've seen Nightcry before. Ah. Hey, Sage. Oh yeah, that cracking one. Here we go. Gee. One hundred. <gasps> oh, it's a little hat. She's got a little hat. Yes. 
Yes! Uh, oh. My heart grew stronger. Sleep tight, little baby. Gotta jump. I would be I would be able to defeat Scissor Woman easily as I am Rock Woman. Now if there was a paper woman. Whoa spooky house. I can go in there now. It's spooky time. Don't fall. You don't scare me! BAM! I'm too strong. Going it's me. In. You won't be able to turn back until you've resolved this problem. Well, That's fine. I don't know. I really want to get that last egg. Oh. Aren't there two more? Um, oh, no. One more. How do I get that last one? Where is it? It's it's in that fast river place behind the grate, but I don't know how to open it. It's gotta have something to do with those ceilings. Maybe, maybe go back down there and take a look at. Someone said something about the whirlpool, so I don't know. Oh, oh, fuck! Pretty sure the grate has an opening above it. Says somebody. Oh, it does. What the fuck? I guess we were too close when we looked at it before. Okay, I guess so. Um. Are you gonna go get the rocket? I think fish? I need the rocket, don't I? To get that okay. high? Yeah, fair right back. We're going down, gang. <laughs> We're going down. I feel this way always. Sneezy definitely knocked the grate down when you helped him because it went to the ceiling before. Ah. Okay. You know another thing horror does that I think sucks? It's always like someone was horror-y because there was like a bad abuse in their backstory. But like in a way that it's like 
sexualized needlessly. I don't like that shit. It's mostly on my mind because every clock tower game is that. Whoa! Egg! It's the brick egg. Fairy Sage told you how to solve that one, didn't they? Right. Egg. Egg, egg, egg. Egg, 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 Egolodian. Egg, 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 egg. 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 Yeah, like, all the Clock Tower games are like, here's my baby, which was born as a result of incest and or sexual assault. It is the Scissorman. I think a lot of people will very lazily be like, Oh. Spooky. Because it's a bad thing. Oh, she got an exclamation point. Yeah. Sorry, they. Hello, Finn! Congratulations on finding all of your siblings! You've done an amazing job. Now hold still. Whoa! My, look at those wings. You should be able to fly properly now. How exciting! What? Whoa! Yo! Yo! Oh! Go up to the waterfall. Dude, this rules! What a cool reward! Yeah, this is just. Oh, okay. Special. Yeah, we've been here. Oh. Oh, this is sick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Classic Spyro Whoosh. reward. Whoosh. Oh, I love this. Marijuana. Are you still missing anything? I don't think so. No, oh, there's some two cards and some mush. Where could the cards be? Well, they're in the cavern of dreams, so. Yeah. Just look around here. That's the start of the game. That's funny. Oh, it's the credits. That your youngest sibling is a hundred percent the autism creature. <laughs> oh, he's the voice of Finn. Oh, and he's good job. Carrington. Oh, Tosh Ritter! They auditioned for something I was directing recently, and they were- they had a good audition. Yo, freesound.org! Brady Yumta Price! Uh, you can be talking to my lawyers! <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not done playing yet, though. When did this ca game come out? Like a month ago? More like two and a half weeks ago. Ah. Egg. Egg. Uh. 
All right. It's flying time. It's flying time. I'm gonna get another drink, because this snack that I got is spicy. Spicy snack. You know where you could go? Oh? Oh, I can't go up there. You can't go up there? You know where you could go? Mm -hmm. The top of the glowy apple wall room. Oh, you're right! Though that's not part of the Cavern of Dreams. It's so. not. <coughs> Bye. I can also go on top of the treehouse now. Yeah. Whoa, he flying! flying. Ow. Oh, it was a lie. Put the apple there. Now see if you can land on that. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, oh it's dragon time. <gasps> no! no! That's okay. There's a there's a apple here. It's just a little guy. Hang on, I have an idea. I have an idea! No! Finn. I have an idea. Uh, okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to hit the mushroom. No! All right. Now I must land on. No! I can do I mean, this. You're as high as you can go. I can. Do... Hang on. I can do this. Oh, I can do this. Okay. I don't think Yam's trying to get any higher. I think she's just trying to land on the branch for fun. Uh, okay. Go, go. No. Nope. Oh, we're gonna have enough time. Fuck! What? What? What are, okay, now what are you doing? I'm gonna water the tree. You can water it from there. Fuck. No, I landed on it before, but no. Probably nothing. Just but I got it. it from the ground. I don't know if I can look up that high. Try. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I can't! See, I okay. knew! Pay another visit to that tree house you liked. Yeah. Do you think this was originally Luna's room before she got thrown into the dumpster? That's exactly what I was thinking. Secret. Mom and Dad, thank you for showing me the right path to walk in life. I love you very much. Yeah, I do think this used to be Luna's room. <laughs> oh! Back to the cavern. Okay. Oh, back to the cav again. Back to the cavern. Oh. Oh, hello, what the fuck? It's a dragon. It's a dragon rubber ducky. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this up here? Can I bring it back to my siblings? Oh. Probably not. You can't hold it. But I can push it. No! It's still here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to push it through that thing. I don't think you can push objects through loading zones. I mean, you can you can check right there. There's a. Well, this works too. It's flying time. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay, well there's nothing there. Shadow of the Colossus secret shit. I don't think you can go up there. Gold my music. No, you, you definitely can't go up there. Okay. Might be something in this area, though. Ducks. Ducks. Big, weird, wooden ducks. 
Ah. I don't like that. They all click. What if I make them all click? Ah. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> All right. I think there's just hidden noisemakers. Yeah. I imagine that the cards will be in places you could technically access before. So these little flying areas are just for fun. Probably. Um, you should be on the lookout for mushrooms as well. You're only missing like three, right? Yeah. Try going off that pipe. That's Is that the way to Carrington Pipe? No. Whoa! Okay. Okay. No. What cards are we missing? That's a good question. Can we look at the... Encyclopede? Okay, we're missing the fourth one on the first page between Pale Carpy and Kihi. And we're missing whatever's between Flynn's siblings and Luna, which I imagine is Sage, right? Probably. Message block. Hello. <laughs> Dice big. Big dragon. Big dragon. Do you have the Preston card? Preston? I don't know. I'm just I'm just looking. So it looks like it. Okay. Uh Oh, okay. Uh go to that Go to that room where you first encounter the Jester Boots, and you have to walk up a bunch of pipes and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. It's in there. this room? Yes, I believe so. You can see it right now. Uh, 
You can probably climb that thing, right? Hard. Hard. It's Preston. Whoa, Preston! I, what's the, can you find me the other question mark spot? It's after Flynn's siblings and before Luna. Okay. We also still need to find those mushrooms. I'm hoping they're near wherever this other one is. Oh, I don't know where that is. Um... Wow, okay. Um Huh. That's a little mean. So, it's in the Gallery of Nightmares, and it teleports you to an otherwise inaccessible location that counts as the Cavern of Dreams for Sage's card. Okay. Uh, you have to find a comfortable bench and fall asleep on it. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense, because it's like a dream card. If it... I don't know what bench they'd be talking about, but if you remember a bench. A bench. Uh. Consider flying in this area, that's funny. I remember seeing this wood earlier, so I wanted to come back and check it out. Maybe there is nothing. Is there a bench in the diary place? Bart, Garden might have a bench. Whoa! What happens if you land on that? A lot of a lot of headless angels. Yeah. They're uh Lady Opal. this bench? It doesn't give any indication where it is in the cabin. It just says Gallery of Nightmares in this guide, and there's not a lot of guides for this game, so I'm having trouble finding other options. Cavern of Dreams, all encyclopedia cards. Anyone done like a video? Nope. Well, I'm up here now. A fake wall opposite of this area, a fake wall by the fountain. I 
Someone else said bench spotted. Hello. This too shall pass. Okay. Okay. Wall. Does the sign say anything there? That would be a hint, like, don't hit my fucking wall! <laughs> oh yeah, that's a fake wall behind it. Well, well I broke this side. <laughs> oh, here we go. This bench looks quite comfortable. Okay. Sleepy time. Nice of the music changed for that area. <gasps> Beep. Oh well. Oh, you're floaty here. <gasps> dragon. Big dragon. Look at the dragons. I see them. Huh? Pat, Pat. <laughs> Boing. I think you gotta get on top of the mushroom. mushrooms are. Oops. That's Finn. <gasps> dragon! Big dragon. Oh, Whoa. So pretty. Oof. It's getting a little late, hun. Would you mind doing the final boss and finding the mushrooms off screen? Okay. Maybe they're at the bottom of that well. I think the well is how you get out. I'm back. Mushrooms are probably under a cracked floor in the fire bat place. Oh, okay. Okay. You. You would never understand. Never understand the depths of my genius! Every world that Sage created, full of orphans, never knowing their own parents, full of misery and pain, it was perfect. Perfect! You ruined it! You ruined it all! You just had to be a little hero, didn't you? You know nothing! Nothing about art! Nothing about tragedy! Nothing about... <gasps> Stop! Finn just wants family back. <laughs> no! 
Do not hit him. No. You have a horrible feeling. You have to stop her oh, before. Oh, she's going after the eggs. No. No! Oh no! 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 Finn, I cannot see. Is that you? Finn, I must tell you. Luna, I locked her away deep down because I was afraid of her. You must... You must find her. Go through here. Little Finn, you've grown so strong. I am so proud. No! No! <gasps> what? What? Our siblings are going to save us. Ugh! What does it take to make you go away? Enough of this! What? Oh shit. I didn't know I could move. I think hey. you're dead. Oh, I can't fly here. Darn. I'm sorry, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. There's like no recovering from that. Dragons that were did the the dream. <gasps> Leave me alone, you little pest! <laughs> I don't. How are you supposed to dodge that? Oh, what? You got got. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So even after they detonate, they have like 30 frames of impact. Baby. No, no, you missed the baby. There's a baby. No, it, it was right under it was literally right underneath you. Baby. Green. The spinning is making me nauseous. Baby. Uh, uh, 
busy. This seems awful without the power of flight. <laughs> Baby. are off the cliff. Finn! Luna, oh, thank the stars you're okay! Right before you returned, the cavern of dreams became normal again. What changed? I don't think you'd understand. Luna. Finn, hey, uh, I'm sorry about all that. I hated you, but you didn't deserve it. So, like I said, sorry. Even if you are a little goody two-shoes. Well, I'm out of here. Gotta stretch my wings, you know? You wanna get out of here too, right, Finn? Check this out! This should be strong enough to bring you and the little weird versions of you up. Luna, just one thing before you go, please. Make it quick. I must apologize, too. I never ever should have treated you like that. You were just a child that didn't know any better. It's a good thing you raised Finn better than you raised me. Later. Finn. You can stay here as long as you want to. But as soon as you decide it's time to go, please do. I know you have your own life and world to return to. I d your little sibling is just rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! Thank you for everything. Duh. Tight little baby. Huh? Hello, Finn! <laughs> so nice to see you. It seems like you'll be responsible for raising your siblings once you return to the world above. I wish so badly I could help, but I can't leave the Cavern of Dreams. I am as much a part of it as it is a part of me. But since that's the case, let me at least give you some advice. Don't raise them to be evil. <laughs> when we're responsible for raising something, molding it to suit our own vision, we sometimes forget it has a life of its own. We can show it right from wrong, but we can't force it to walk down a certain path. Only it can decide where it wants to go. And the more we try to force it to be something it's not, the more it will resist us until something snaps. I wish I knew that before, but at least I know it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a little heavy, but I know you're mature enough to handle it now. From me, and from everyone else in the Cavern of Dreams who you've helped, take care. These are my babies. Don't get them, go! Hello, baby. Oh my goodness. Look at you go! Look at you go! Seek tight little baby. They they are asleep. <laughs> Bro. What? What? That's it. The babies. The babies. Yo, Luna did seem pretty awful though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yo, we... Mr. Carrington! <laughs> I know we already saw this, but... I guess we'll stick around to see if there's anything after credits. 
I think it just goes to title screen, though. Yeah, it probably won't... There might be something different if you got everything, like all the mushrooms, too, but... Mm -hmm. You'll just have to buy the game and find out for yourself. I guess so. Super rare games. Looks like a cola logo. It does. Wow, it's late. <laughs> yup. Yup. Do we ever resolve the whole box of terrible evil subplot? I think the implication was that that was Luna's father. Hooray. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Hi, Piff. Hi, In the Piff. chat. All right. Sleep tight, little baby. Sleep tight, little babies. Stream ended.